Heavenly Father, as I lay myself down to rest, I come before you, O Lord, seeking your presence to envelop me in the tranquility of your love. In this quiet and sacred moment, I surrender all my worries, fears, and burdens into your hands, knowing that you are the ultimate source of peace and comfort. Lord, I invite your Holy Spirit to dwell within me, guiding my thoughts and soothing my soul as I prepare to drift into the realm of sleep. May your presence wrap around me like a gentle blanket, calming every anxious thought and easing every troubled concern. In the stillness of this night, may your voice whisper words of reassurance to my heart, reminding me of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Help me to release any tensions that may weigh heavy upon me, trusting in your promise to guard my mind and spirit with your divine protection. Grant me, dear Father, the grace to experience deep and restoring sleep, where my body finds rejuvenation and my spirit finds renewal. May the peace that surpasses all understanding fill my being as I rest securely in your tender care. As I close my eyes, I place my trust in you, knowing that you never slumber nor sleep, but watch over me with steadfast vigilance. May your presence be a constant source of comfort throughout the night, surrounding me with your peace that transcends all earthly understanding. In the quiet hours of darkness, may your light shine brightly within me, illuminating the path of my dreams and guiding me towards the dawn of a brand new day filled with hope and promise. Thank you, gracious Father, for your enduring love and for the precious gift of sleep. May your presence abide with me now and always, granting me the assurance of your unfailing presence until the morning light breaks forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in this moment, as I rest, quiet my restless mind. Remind me of your steadfast faithfulness and the countless promises you have graciously bestowed upon your children. In the quietness of this night, I come before you, seeking your peace in your unwavering love and taking refuge in your unfailing promises. Lord, your word assures me that you are a God who neither slumbers nor sleeps, but instead you watch over me with tender care. You are my ever-present help in times of trouble, and your promises stand as pillars of strength, sustaining me through every trial and tribulation. In the depths of this night, whenever darkness threatens to overshadow my soul, your promises are a beacon of hope, guiding me towards the light of your truth. You have promised to never leave me nor forsake me, to be with me always, even to the end of the age. With this assurance, I find peace knowing that your presence surrounds me, shielding me from harm and keeping me safe in your embrace. Your word declares that you give your beloved sleep, and so I lay down my burdens at your feet, trusting in your promise to grant me restful slumber. As I surrender myself to your care, I am reminded 
of your promise to refresh my soul and restore my strength, enabling me to rise with a renewed spirit to face the challenges of a new day. Lord, may your promises echo in the chambers of my heart, filling me with courage and confidence to face whatever may come my way. You have promised to work all things together for my good, to give me a future and a hope, and to lead me in the paths of righteousness for your namesake. As I close my eyes and drift into the realm of dreams, may your promises be my comfort and my guide, leading me into the deepest parts of your love and the abundance of your grace. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. And may your joy be my strength, sustaining me through the darkest of nights. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your promises that never fail and for your presence that never leaves. May I rest securely in your love, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill every word spoken over my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Gracious and loving Father, as I enter the gentle embrace of sleep, I am filled with gratitude for your unwavering faithfulness. Your steadfast love has sustained me through the trials of the day, and now, as I close my eyes, I find rest in your enduring presence. Your faithfulness, O Lord, is a rock upon which I can firmly stand, a refuge to which I can always retreat. In your faithfulness, I find peace that transcends all understanding, and in your promises, I find hope that anchors my soul. In this moment, Lord, I am reminded of the words of your servant David, where he says, I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Lord, in your faithfulness, you have promised to watch over me as I sleep, to protect me from harm, and to guard me with your unfailing love. May your faithfulness be my comfort, wrapping around me like a warm blanket and soothing my troubled heart. May your presence be a gentle whisper in the deepest parts of my soul, reminding me that you are near, that you are with me, and that you will never leave me nor forsake me. In your faithfulness, O oh God, I find rest for my weary soul, peace for my troubled mind, and strength for the journey ahead. Help me, Lord, to surrender all my cares and worries into your capable hands, knowing that you are faithful to carry them for me. As I drift into the realm of sleep, may your faithfulness be my lullaby, guiding me into sweet dreams and refreshing my spirit for the day ahead. May I awaken with a renewed sense of your presence and a deeper awareness of your faithfulness at work in my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your faithfulness that never fails, for your love that never wanes, and your presence that never leaves. May your faithfulness be my anchor in the storms of life, my light in the darkness, and my peace throughout the night. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Mighty God, as I surrender myself to rest, I am reminded of your promise that you work all things together for the good of those who love you, who have been called according 
to your purpose. In the quiet of this night, I find rest in your reassuring words, knowing that you are always at work in my life, orchestrating every detail for my ultimate good. Father, you are the master weaver, skillfully crafting every part of my life with threads of joy and sorrow and triumph and tribulation. Even in the midst of uncertainty, I find comfort in the knowledge that your sovereign hand is guiding me along the path you have laid out for me. In your infinite wisdom, you are able to take the broken pieces of my life and weave them into something beautiful. You can transform my pain into purpose, my trials into triumphs, and my sorrows into songs of praise. Your power knows no bounds, and your love knows no limits. As I lay my head upon my pillow, I release all my worries and fears into your hands, trusting that you are able to bring beauty from ashes and turn mourning into dancing. Help me, dear Lord, to rest in the assurance of your providence, knowing that you are always working behind the scenes, even when I cannot see your hand at work. In the stillness of this night, may your peace wash over me like a gentle river, calming every anxious thought and quieting every restless fear. May your presence be my constant companion, guiding me through the darkness and leading me into the light of your truth. As I drift into the realm of sleep, may your promise to work all things for good be my anchor, grounding me in the certainty of your love and faithfulness. May I awaken with a renewed sense of hope and a deeper trust in your sovereign plan for my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your faithfulness that never fails and your love that will never end. May your goodness and your mercy follow me all the days of my life, and may I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, as I surrender myself to the tranquility of sleep, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude and a soul longing for restoration. You are the God who restores, who brings beauty from ashes and turns mourning into dancing. In your presence, I find rest and strength knowing that you are able to heal the brokenness in my life and bring about a divine transformation. Your word declares in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust have eaten. Lord, you are the God of redemption and renewal, and you are able to restore all that has been lost or broken in my life. You are the great restorer, capable of bringing forth new life from the barren places and restoring what the enemy has stolen. In the quiet of this night, I release all my burdens and regrets and shortcomings into your loving hands, trusting in your promise to make all things new. You are the God of second chances, and your mercy knows no bounds. Help me, dear Lord, to let go of the past and embrace the future you have planned for me, knowing that you are able to make all things work together for my good. As I lay down to rest, I invite your Holy Spirit 
to move in my life, bringing forth a divine restoration that surpasses all understanding. Heal the wounds of my heart, mend the broken pieces of my soul, and restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your love that never fails. May your unfailing restoration flow like a river in my life, bringing forth blessings beyond measure and transforming me into the person you created me to be. As I rest, may I awaken with a renewed sense of hope and a deeper trust in your ability to bring about restoration in every area of my life. In the most powerful name, the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I lay down to rest tonight, I surrender all my burdens and worries unto you. I come before your throne with a heart filled with gratitude, knowing that you are the Almighty God, the Restorer of all things. Your promises are true, and your faithfulness endures forever. Lord, I thank you for the gift of sleep, for in it you grant me rest and renewal. As I drift into the peaceful realm of slumber, I ask that you envelop me in your comforting presence, quiet my mind, calm my anxieties, and soothe my soul with your gentle touch. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I bring before you the areas of my life that need restoration, whether it be broken relationships, shattered dreams, or lost opportunities. I trust in your unfailing love to mend what is broken and bring beauty from ashes. You are the God who makes all things new, and I believe that you are working behind the scenes, orchestrating your perfect plan for my life. In the stillness of the night, may your spirit whisper words of hope and assurance to my weary soul. Strengthen my faith, O Lord, and help me to cling to your promises, even in the darkest of nights. For you are the light that shines in the darkness, and no darkness can overcome your glorious radiance. I surrender my past, my present, and my future into your loving hands. Take control, dear Lord and lead me on the path of righteousness. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation and renew a steadfast spirit within me. May your grace abound in my life, transforming me from glory to glory as I surrender to your will. As I rest in your presence, I cling to the assurance found in your holy word. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Thank you, Lord, for the promise of restoration and renewal. I place my trust in you, knowing that you are faithful to complete the good work you have started in me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, as I rest in this moment, I come before you thanking you for the gift of this day and every breath you have graciously given me. Lord, in this moment, I surrender all my cares and concerns into your loving hands, trusting in your divine providence 
over my life as I rest in the quiet embrace of sleep I find serenity in the reassurance of your promises your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path guiding me through the darkest of times you have declared in your holy word that your plans for me are good and not for harm to give me a future and a hope Lord I am comforted by your promise to never leave me nor forsake me even in the silence of the night you are my refuge and my strength a present help always in times of trouble your faithfulness endures through every season of life and your love knows no bounds I find peace in the knowledge that you are my shepherd leading me beside still waters and restoring my soul your rod and your staff they comfort me guiding me along the path of righteousness for your name's sake though I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me as I drift off into the peaceful embrace of sleep may your promises wrap around me like a warm blanket filling me with a sense of security and peace quiet my restless thoughts O Lord and grant me the sweet serenity that can only be found in your presence in the silence of the night may your spirit speak to my soul reminding me of your faithfulness and the unfailing nature of your promises help me to hold fast to your word knowing that every promise you have spoken over my life is yes and amen in Christ Jesus thank you Lord for the assurance of your promises may they be a beacon of hope that guides me through the night and into the dawn of a new day filled with your grace and mercy in Jesus mighty name I pray amen Heavenly Father as I rest deeply in the realm of sleep I am reminded of your unfailing love and constant presence in my life in the stillness of this moment I come before you with a heart open to your guidance and a spirit longing for your peace Lord you are the great Shepherd of our souls the one who leads us beside quiet waters and restores our weary hearts your word assures us that you will never leave us nor forsake us and tonight as I surrender to the gentle embrace of sleep I find comfort in your promise to guide me along the path of righteousness in the darkness of night when uncertainty clouds my thoughts and worries weigh heavy on my heart I cling to the truth of your word for your word O Lord is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path illuminating the way forward and dispelling the shadows of doubt and fear as I lay down to rest I entrust my dreams and aspirations into your hands knowing that you hold my future securely in your grasp guide my steps O Lord and direct my paths according to your perfect will lead me in the way everlasting and grant me wisdom to discern your voice amidst the noise of this world in the quiet moments of sleep may your spirit speak peace to my soul calming every anxious thought and quieting every fear 
help me to rest in the assurance of your presence, knowing that you are with me always, guiding me with your steadfast love and faithfulness. Your word in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13 tells me, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Thank you, Lord, for your promise to guide me and uphold me with your righteous right hand. As I surrender my cares and all my concerns to you, I trust that you will lead me in the path of righteousness for your namesake. Thank you, Lord. In the most powerful name, the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I rest tonight, I ask that you would quiet my restless mind and heal my weary body. Lord, I am in need of your healing touch, for you are the great physician, the one who knit me together in my mother's womb, and I trust in your power to bring restoration and wholeness to every aspect of my being. Lord, in the stillness of this night, I bring before you all the wounds and hurts that weigh heavy on my heart, whether they be physical ailments, emotional scars, or spiritual struggles. I know that you are the God who heals all our diseases and binds up our wounds. Your word declares that by your wounds we are healed, and I cling to this promise with unwavering faith. As I drift into the realm of peaceful and deep sleep, I ask that you would surround me with your comforting presence. Lord, let your peace that surpasses all understanding guard my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. Quiet my anxious thoughts and soothe my troubled spirit with your gentle touch. In the silence of this night, may your spirit move within me, bringing healing to every broken area of my life. Pour out your healing remedy, Lord, upon my body, my mind, and my soul, and restore me to wholeness according to your perfect will. May your love wash over me like a gentle wave, bringing renewal and strength to all weary parts of myself and my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your promise of healing and restoration as I surrender myself into your loving care. I trust that you have the power to work miracles in my life, bringing beauty from ashes and turning my mourning into dancing. I put my hope in you, O Lord, and I trust in your perfect will for my life. I surrender all to you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, as I rest, I come before you with a heart yearning for your peace. In the midst of life's storms and struggles, I seek refuge in your presence, knowing that you alone are the source of true peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, your word declares that you are the Prince of Peace, and tonight I invite your peace to reign over every area of my life. Quiet my restless thoughts and calm the storms that rage within. Lord, let your peace be a soothing remedy to my soul, bringing rest to my weary spirit and comfort to my troubled heart. In the stillness of this night, I surrender all my fears 
worries, and anxieties into your loving hands. I cast my cares upon you, knowing that you care for me deeply and tenderly. Help me to release control and trust in your divine plan for my life, knowing that your ways are higher than my ways and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. As I drift, O Lord, into the gentle embrace of sleep, may your peace surround me like a protective shield, guarding me from the attacks of the enemy and filling me with a sense of security and serenity. Let your peace permeate every corner of my being, driving out all fear and doubt, and anchoring my soul in the unshakable truth of your love. In the quietness of this night, may your spirit speak peace to my soul, reminding me of your faithfulness and goodness. Help me to dwell on thoughts that are true, noble, pure, and praiseworthy, turning my gaze away from the worries of this world and fixing my eyes on you, the author and perfecter of my faith. Your word says, O Lord, in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, for you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Thank you, Lord, for the promise of your peace that transcends all understanding. As I surrender myself into your loving care, I trust that you will keep me in perfect peace as I abide in you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in these quiet moments of rest, I come before you acknowledging your sovereignty and the abundance of your promises. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, guiding me through every season of life. Tonight, as I prepare to lay down and rest, I declare your promises over my life with unwavering faith and confidence. Lord, I declare your promise from Psalm chapter 91, verses 1 through 2, which says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say, to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Thank you, Lord, for being my refuge and my fortress, a place of safety and security in times of trouble. As I rest, I trust in your unfailing protection over me and over my loved ones. Father, I declare your promise from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, which says, But they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Thank you for renewing my strength as I wait upon you. Tonight, I surrender my weariness and all my fatigue to you trusting that you will rejuvenate my body, mind, and spirit as I rest in your presence. Father, I declare your promise from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Thank you for the assurance that your plans for me are good and filled with hope. As I rest tonight, I place my dreams, desires, and all aspirations into your hands, knowing that you are faithful 
to bring your purposes to fruition in my life. Lord, I declare your promise from Romans chapter 8, verse 28, which says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for those who are called according to his purpose. Thank you for working all things together for my good. As I rest tonight, I surrender all my circumstances and all my uncertainties to you, trusting that you are orchestrating everything according to your perfect will. Father, I thank you for your faithfulness and goodness towards me. As I lay down to rest, I do so with confidence in your promises and with gratitude in my heart. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus as I sleep. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Mighty God, as I come before your throne of grace, I am humbled by your presence. Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who holds all things together by the power of your word. Today, I lift up my heart to you, seeking your peace to envelop every aspect of my life as I rest in your embrace. Lord, in the midst of life's storms and uncertainties, I find peace in your promises. Your word declares in Psalm chapter 4, verse 8, In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Grant me the assurance that you are my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Father, I confess any anxieties, fears, or worries that may have troubled my heart. I lay them at the foot of your cross, knowing that you care for me with an unfailing love. Replace my anxious thoughts with your perfect peace, O Lord. May your presence fill the atmosphere of my resting place, driving away every shadow of doubt and uncertainty. In the quiet moments of the night, may your Holy Spirit speak peace to my soul. May your gentle whispers reassure me of your faithfulness and your never-ending love. Help me to release control into your capable hands, knowing that your plans for me are good and filled with hope. As I lay down to rest, I surrender my burdens to you, for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. May the rhythm of this night be synchronized with the rhythm of your grace, bringing calmness to my spirit and stillness to my soul. Let your peace flow through me like a river, washing away all restlessness and unrest. Lord, I thank you for the gift of sleep, for in it you refresh and renew both body and soul. Grant me restful sleep tonight so that I may awaken with renewed strength to serve you and others with joy and enthusiasm. In the most powerful name, I pray, the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I enter the realm of sleep, I am reminded of your abundant blessings that encompass my life. You are the giver of all good gifts and your love for me knows no bounds. Tonight, I come before your throne with a heart overflowing with gratitude and a spirit open to receive your blessings as I sleep deeply. 
Lord, I thank you for the gift of rest. For in sleep you restore and rejuvenate my body, mind, and spirit. Your word declares in Psalm chapter 3, verse 5, I lay down and slept. I woke again, for the Lord sustained me. Thank you for sustaining me through the night, for watching over me with loving care as I rest in your embrace. Father, I invite your presence to fill my sleeping quarters tonight. Let your presence be around me, protecting me from all harm and danger. May your peace permeate the atmosphere, driving away every trace of fear, anxiety, and unrest. As I surrender myself into your hands, I trust in your promise that says in peace, I will lie down and sleep, and that you make me dwell in safety. Lord, I pray for deep, restoring sleep tonight. Quiet my mind and calm my spirit as I release every worry and concern into your capable hands. Give me the assurance that you are in control and that nothing can separate me from your love. May your presence be like a soothing remedy, easing every ache and tension, bringing healing to my body and soul. Father, I ask for your blessings to be upon my dreams tonight. May they be filled with your wisdom, guidance, and revelation. Speak to me in the stillness of the night, illuminating your plans and purposes for my life. Grant me clarity of vision and direction as I seek to walk in obedience to your will. Lord, I pray for a refreshing and rejuvenating sleep that prepares me for the day ahead. May I awaken with renewed strength, energy, and enthusiasm to serve you and others with joy and passion. Help me to embrace each new day as a gift from your hand, filled with opportunities to glorify your name and advance your kingdom. Father, I commit myself into your loving care as I drift off to sleep. Thank you for your presence that never leaves me nor forsakes me. May your blessings follow me all the days of my life, and may I dwell in your house, Lord, forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Gracious and loving Father, as I prepare to surrender myself to the embrace of sleep, I come before you with a heart open and receptive to your transforming power. You are the great renewer, the one who brings light to darkness and peace to chaos. Tonight, I ask for your divine touch to renew my mind as I sleep peacefully, enveloping me in your calming presence. Lord, your word reminds me in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, and what is acceptable and perfect. I humbly submit my thoughts, fears, and my doubts to you, asking for your gentle touch to renew my mind according to your truth and wisdom. Father, as I lay down to rest, I release the burdens that weigh heavy on my heart. Quiet the storms of my mind with your soothing voice, speaking words of peace and comfort. Replace every anxious thought with your perfect peace, for you alone are the source 
of true tranquility and serenity. Lord, I ask for your healing touch to mend any brokenness or wounds within my mind and soul. You are the divine physician, capable of restoring that which is broken and bringing wholeness to every shattered piece. Let your love flow through me like a gentle river, washing away all traces of pain and hurt, filling me with your divine peace. Father, I pray for clarity and discernment in my thoughts and decisions. Grant me the wisdom to see things from your perspective, to discern your will, and to walk in obedience to your word. May your truth be my guiding light, the lamp to my feet, lighting up the path of righteousness before me. Lord, I invite your Holy Spirit to dwell within me as I sleep, renewing my mind and transforming my heart. Pour out your grace upon me, filling me with your love, joy, and peace. Help me to dwell on whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. I surrender my worries, my fears, and my anxieties to you, trusting in your faithfulness and goodness. As I rest in your presence, may your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. In your precious and holy name, the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I prepare to close my eyes and enter into a deep and restful sleep, I am reminded of your constant presence that surrounds me like a warm embrace. You are the God who neither slumbers nor sleeps, and your watchful eye is upon me at all times. Tonight, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude, seeking your comforting presence to surround me as I sleep peacefully. Lord, your word assures me in Psalm chapter 139, verses 7 through 10. Where shall I go from your spirit? Where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in the darkness, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Thank you for your promise to never leave me nor forsake me, even in the stillness of the night. Fill my heart, O Lord, with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Let your presence permeate every corner of my being, driving out every fear, worry, and anxiety. Wrap me in your love like a comforting blanket, soothing my soul and calming my spirit. I surrender myself into your loving care, trusting in your perfect love that casts out all fear. Help me to release every burden and concern into your hands, knowing that you are faithful to carry my cares and burdens for me. May your presence be like a gentle breeze, blowing away the cares of the day and ushering in a sense of tranquility and rest. Father, I thank you for the gift of sleep, for in it you refresh and renew my body, mind, and spirit. As I lay down to rest, I ask for your protection over my mind and thoughts. Guard me against the schemes of the enemy and fill my mind with thoughts of peace, joy, and hope. Lord, I pray 
for a restful sleep tonight, uninterrupted by any worries or fears. May your presence be like a guiding light leading me into the peaceful depths of slumber. Grant me the strength to surrender control into your hands, knowing that you are always in control and working all things together for my good. As I drift off to sleep, may your presence go before me and follow me all the days of my life, guiding my steps and filling my heart with your peace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Mighty God, as I lay down my head and rest in the stillness of this night, I come before you with a heart that longs for your healing touch. You are the great physician, the one who heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Tonight, I humbly ask for your healing presence to surround me as I sleep peacefully, bringing comfort to my soul and restoration to my body. Lord, your word declares in Psalm chapter 147, verse 3, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Thank you, Lord, for your promise to heal and restore those who are hurting. I bring before you every ache, every pain, and every sickness that I may be experiencing, trusting in your power to bring healing and wholeness. Father, I invite your Holy Spirit to minister to me as I sleep, bringing comfort to my weary soul and strength to my tired body. Let your healing flow over me like a gentle stream, washing away all traces of pain and discomfort. Fill me with your peace that surpasses all understanding, calming every storm within me. Lord, I surrender myself into your loving hands, knowing that you are the source of all healing and restoration. Help me to release any bitterness, unforgiveness, or resentment that may be hindering my healing process. Replace these negative emotions with your love, grace, and forgiveness, setting me free from the chains that bind me. Father, I pray for a deep and restoring sleep tonight, one that rejuvenates my body, my mind, and my spirit. May your presence be like a soothing remedy, easing every ache and tension and bringing healing to every part of my being. Grant me the strength to trust in your timing and your ways, knowing that you are always working for my good. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness and your unfailing love. Even in the darkness of the night, your light shines brightly, bringing hope and healing to all who call upon your name. May your healing touch continue to work in me, both now as I sleep and in the days to come. Father, I commit myself into your peace and presence as I drift off into sleep. May your healing power flow through me, restoring me to health and wholeness according to your perfect will. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude for the gift of restful sleep. You are the God who neither slumbers nor sleeps, and your watchful eye is upon me at all times. Tonight, I humbly ask for your grace and mercy to grant me a deep and restful sleep, enveloping me in your calming presence. Before you, I surrender all my worries all my fears, 
and all my anxieties to you, knowing that you are in control and that I can trust in your unfailing love. Father, I invite your Holy Spirit to dwell within me as I sleep, filling my heart with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Quiet the storms of my mind with your soothing voice, speaking words of comfort and assurance. May your presence be like a gentle breeze, calming every fear and anxiety, bringing tranquility to my soul. Lord, I surrender myself into your loving care, trusting in your perfect plan for my life. Help me to release all the cares and concerns of the day into your hands, knowing that you are working all things together for my good. Grant me the strength to let go of control and to place my trust fully in you. I pray for a deep and restful sleep tonight, one that rejuvenates my body, my mind, and my spirit. May your peace descend upon me like a soft blanket, wrapping me in your love and protection. Quiet my restless thoughts and grant me the sweet gift of sleep, uninterrupted by worry or fear. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness and your goodness towards me. Even in the silence of the night, your presence surrounds me, bringing comfort and peace. May your peace guard my heart and mind as I sleep and may I awaken refreshed and renewed, ready to face the day ahead. May your grace and peace fill my heart and my mind, Lord, and may I rest securely in your presence. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Almighty and gracious God, you are the giver of every good and perfect gift and I am grateful for the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. Tonight, I pray for your Spirit to be upon my life in a powerful way, filling me with your peace, wisdom, and comfort. Lord, your word assures me that you have given your Holy Spirit to dwell within me as a constant companion and guide. I invite your Spirit to take control of every area of my life, transforming me from the inside out and making me more like Christ. Fill me afresh with your spirit, empowering me to live a life that honors and glorifies your name. Father, I long for the peace that surpasses all understanding, the peace that can only come from your spirit. Quiet the storms of my heart with your calming presence, bringing tranquility to my soul. Help me to release all anxiety and worry into your hands, knowing that you are in control and your plans for me are good and perfect. Lord, I surrender myself into your loving arms, trusting in your unfailing love and faithfulness. Grant me the wisdom to discern your voice amidst the noise of this world and the courage to follow wherever you lead. May your spirit guide me into all truth, illuminating your word and revealing your will for my life. Father, I pray for a deep and abiding sense of your presence to rest upon me as I sleep. Let your spirit minister to me in the quietness of the night, speaking words of comfort, encouragement, and peace. May my soul be filled with your peace that transcends all understanding, guarding my heart and my mind. Lord, I thank you for the precious gift of your Holy Spirit 
who empowers me to live a life of victory and purpose. Help me to walk in step with your spirit, bearing the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I now rest in your comforting presence, for you are my comforter, my redeemer, and my refuge. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, as the night descends and the world around me grows quiet, I come before you seeking your divine protection and guidance. In your infinite love and mercy, I find peace and strength. You are the ever watchful guardian the steadfast fortress in whom I place my trust. As I lay my head down to rest, I ask for your comforting presence to envelop me. Shield me, O Lord, with your mighty hand, and let your angels and your presence encamp around me, guarding me against any harm or evil that may seek to disturb my peace. Grant me, dear God, the gift of deep and undisturbed sleep. Quiet my restless thoughts and calm the storms within my soul. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, reign in my heart as I surrender myself into your loving care. In the stillness of the night, may your light shine brightly dispelling any darkness that may try and sabotage my dreams. May your love be the blanket that covers me, warming me with its gentle embrace. As I drift into slumber, I entrust myself entirely to your unfailing protection. Guard my mind from fear and all anxiety, and let your perfect love Cast out all apprehension. In you, O Lord, I find my refuge and my strength. In the morning, Lord, when I awaken, may I be refreshed and renewed. May my first thoughts be of gratitude for your steadfast presence throughout the night. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your unwavering love and protection. In the mighty name, of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the quiet of this night, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and a soul longing for your peace. As I rest my tired body, I ask for your divine presence to surround me, filling every corner of my being with your soothing comfort. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace, the one who calms the storms and quiets the raging seas. In your presence, anxiety fades away and worry loses its grip. I surrender all my cares and concerns to you, knowing that you are faithful to carry them for me. As my head is laid upon this pillow, I invite your peace to wash over me like a gentle breeze, soothing my mind and easing my troubled heart. Let your love be the pillow upon which I lay my burdens, and your grace the blanket that covers me, enveloping me in your warmth and security. Grant me, O Lord, the gift of a deep and restful sleep, free from the disturbances of this world. Quiet the noise of this day and silence the voices of fear and doubt that seek to rob me of your peace. Instead, fill my dreams with visions of your goodness and grace, reminding me of your unfailing love and faithfulness. In the stillness of this night, may your presence be my constant companion, guiding me through the darkness and leading me into the light 
of your truth. Let your peace reign in my heart, casting out all fear and uncertainty and allowing me to rest securely in your embrace. As I drift off to sleep, I place my trust entirely in you, knowing that you are always with me, watching over me with tender care. Thank you, Lord, for your peace that surpasses all understanding and for the assurance that I am safe in your loving arms. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Gracious and loving Father, as the day comes to a close and night approaches, I lift my heart to you in gratitude and surrender. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and in your presence I find my strength and peace. As I prepare to rest my weary body, I ask for your divine presence to surround me, guiding me into a deep and restful sleep. Lord, you are the God who never slumbers nor sleeps. You are always watching over your beloved children with love and care. I invite your presence to fill my room, filling every corner with your light and dispelling any darkness or fear that may try to linger. In the quietness of this moment, may your peace settle upon me like gentle rain, refreshing my soul and quieting my mind. Let your presence be my comfort and my strength, a constant reminder that I am never alone, for you are always with me. As I close my eyes and surrender to sleep, I entrust myself entirely into your loving hands. Guard my dreams, O Lord, and fill them with visions of your goodness and your grace. Let your presence be my comfort and my strength, a constant reminder that I am never alone, for you are always with me. As I close my eyes and surrender to sleep, I entrust myself entirely into your loving hands. Guard my dreams, O Lord, and fill them with visions of your goodness and grace. Let your presence be my guide through the night, leading me safely into the dawn of a new day. In your presence, there is fullness of joy and peace that surpasses all understanding. I rest in the assurance of your unfailing love, knowing that you are with me in every moment, watching over me with tender care. Thank you, Lord, for your presence that never leaves me, even in the darkest hours of the night. May your peace reign in my heart as I sleep, and may I awaken refreshed and renewed, ready to face whatever the day may bring. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in this moment of rest, I come before you with a heart heavy with burdens and a mind plagued by anxiety. Yet I know that you are the God of peace, the one who can calm the stormy seas and quiet the raging winds. Lord, I cling to your promise in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7, which tells me not to be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present my requests to you, and your peace, which transcends all understanding will guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Lord, I lay my anxieties before you now, releasing all of them 
from the deepest parts of my soul and placing them into your loving and capable hands. I surrender my fears, my worries, and my doubts, knowing that you are sovereign over all things and that nothing is beyond your control. As I prepare to rest my weary body, I ask for your divine intervention to calm the storms within me. Let your peace flow through me like a gentle river, washing away all traces of anxiety and filling me with a sense of tranquility and serenity. Help me to release the tension in my body and in my mind and to surrender myself fully into your care. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace and your presence brings comfort and reassurance to my troubled soul. As I lay my head upon my pillow, I invite you to wrap me in your loving embrace, shielding me from the storms of life and granting me the sweet gift of restful sleep. In the stillness of the night, may your peace surround me like a warm blanket, enfolding me in your love and protection. Let your presence be my refuge and my fortress, a safe haven where I can find rest and renewal. Thank you, Lord, for your promise to never leave me nor forsake me. Even in the darkest of times, I trust in your faithfulness, and I know that you are working all things together for my good. Help me to cast all my cares upon you, knowing that you care for me deeply. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, in this moment of rest, I am reminded of what your word tells me in Psalm chapter 55, verse 22 which says to cast my cares on you and you will sustain me. You will never let the righteous be shaken. So now, Lord, I cast all my worries and my anxieties upon you, trusting in your unfailing love and faithfulness. Lord, you are my refuge and my strength, a present help in all times of trouble. I surrender all my worries, fears, and uncertainties into your loving hands, knowing that you are more than able to carry them for me. Help me to release the tight grip of anxiety that weighs heavy on my heart, and instead to rest in the assurance of your sovereignty and grace. In the quiet of this night, I seek your peace that surpasses all understanding. Let your calming presence wash over me like a gentle rain, soothing my troubled soul and quieting the storm within. Replace my anxious thoughts with your perfect peace and fill me with a sense of tranquility and serenity that can only come from you. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of peace and your presence brings comfort and assurance to my restless spirit as i close my eyes and surrender myself into your care i invite you to wrap me up in your loving embrace surrounding me with your divine protection and grace in the stillness of this night may your peace guard my heart and mind shielding me from the arrows of anxiety and doubt. Help me to trust in your goodness and faithfulness, knowing that you are working all things together for my good. Thank you, Lord, for your promise to never leave me nor forsake me, even in the midst of my fears and uncertainties. Give me the strength to surrender all my anxieties to you and to rest in the peace that comes from knowing that you 
are in control. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the quiet of this night, I know that you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and in your hands the future is secure. Your word reminds me in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 that you have plans to prosper me and not to harm me, plans to give me hope and a future. So now, Lord, I release all my concerns about what lies ahead into your loving and capable hands. Lord, you are my refuge and my strength. You are my fortress of peace in times of uncertainty. Help me to trust in your perfect timing and provision, knowing that you are working all things together for my good. Quiet the anxious thoughts that clamor for my attention and replace them with a sense of calm assurance in your sovereignty and love. As I prepare to rest my body, I ask for your divine presence and your divine peace to envelop me like a warm embrace, soothing my troubled mind and calming my restless spirit. Let your presence be my comfort and my strength, a constant reminder that you are with me always, guiding me through every season of life. In the stillness of tonight, may your peace reign in my heart, casting out all fear and doubt about the future. Help me to surrender my worries into your hands, trusting in your wisdom and goodness to lead me on the path that you have prepared for me. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace, and your presence brings tranquility and assurance to my soul. As I lay my head upon my pillow, I invite you to be my companion throughout the night, guarding my dreams and filling me with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and provision in every season of life. Give me the strength to release my worries about the future and to rest securely in your unfailing love. May your peace sustain me through the night and lead me into the dawn of a brand new day filled with hope and promise. In the most powerful name, I pray, the name of Jesus. Amen. Mighty God, as the day comes to a close, I find myself burdened by the weight of stress and anxiety. I come before you with a heart longing for your peace. Your word tells me in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30, to come to you, all who are weary and burdened, and you will give rest. Lord, I surrender all my stress and worries into your loving and capable hands, trusting in your promise to bring me peace. Lord, you are my refuge and my strength, a constant source of comfort and peace in times of trouble. Help me to release the stress that weighs heavy upon my heart, knowing that you are in control of all things and that nothing is too difficult for you. Quiet the chaos of my mind and replace it with your perfect peace, a peace that transcends all understanding. As I prepare to rest my weary body, I ask for your divine presence to surround me wherever I am. Lord, fill this space up and soothe my nerves and my mind and my restless spirit. Let your peace wash over me like a gentle breeze, 
refreshing my soul and renewing my strength for the days ahead. For your peace, O Lord, reigns supremely in my heart, casting out all fear and anxiety. Help me to let go of the stress that holds me captive and to surrender myself completely into your care. Give me the strength to trust in your unfailing love and provision, knowing that you are working all things together for my good. Lord Jesus, your presence brings tranquility and serenity to my soul. So as I drift off into a deep and restful sleep, I invite you to be with me in every moment throughout this night. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and for your grace in every season of life. Give me the courage and the faith to release my stress and my worries into your hands so that I may rest and be renewed in your unfailing love. Your peace sustains me through the night and leads me into a new day filled with hope and joy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I come before you in prayer in this moment of stillness, I acknowledge your sovereignty and your goodness. Your word declares in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Lord, I lean on this promise as I seek your strength and an increase of faith even as I rest. Father, I confess my limitations and weaknesses before you. There are times when the burdens of life feel overwhelming and my own strength fails me. But I know that in you I can find renewed strength and courage. I ask for your divine empowerment to fill me with your strength. Strengthen my physical body that I may be able to endure the challenges and trials that may come my way. Strengthen my mind that I may have clarity of thought and wisdom to discern your will. Strengthen my spirit that I may have unwavering faith and trust in your promises. Lord, increase my faith even as I rest. Help me to trust you more deeply, knowing that you are always faithful to your word. Your word assures me in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, and without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. May my faith in you be like a mustard seed, small yet mighty, capable of moving mountains. Let your spirit work within me, strengthening my faith and anchoring my hope in your unfailing love. As I lay down to rest, I surrender all my worries, all my doubts, and all my fears into your hands. Fill my heart with your peace that surpasses all understanding, knowing that you are in control of every situation. Help me to rest in your promises, knowing that you are working all things together for my good. Thank you, Father, for your unending grace and mercy. Thank you for being my source of strength and for increasing my faith day by day. As I place my trust in you, choosing to rest in this moment, I know that your strength is made perfect in my weakness. In the powerful and mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Mighty God, I come before you humbly, recognizing your majesty and sovereignty over all things. Your word declares in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, 
so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Lord, I yearn for your Holy Spirit to fill me, to feel your presence, and to deepen my faith in you and your perfect will. Father, I acknowledge my need for your Spirit to dwell richly within me. I long to be filled with your presence, to experience the fullness of your love, grace, and power. I surrender myself completely to you, inviting your Spirit to take residence in every corner of my heart and soul. Fill me, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. Let your presence saturate my being, transforming me from the inside out. May your Spirit empower me to live a life that is pleasing to you, to walk in obedience to your word, and to bear fruit that glorifies your name. Grant me a deeper faith, O Lord, that I may trust you more fully and surrender my will to yours. Your word assures me in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Help me to trust in your perfect plan, Lord, even when the circumstances seem uncertain or difficult. Lord, I pray for a faith that moves mountains, a faith that remains steadfast in the face of trials and tribulations. Strengthen my faith, Lord, that I may be firmly rooted and grounded in your love, unshaken by the storms of life. As I seek your presence and your will, fill me fresh with your spirit, Lord. Renew my mind, revive my spirit, and refresh my soul. Help me to abide in you daily, getting closer to you in prayer and in the study of your word. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness and your promise to never leave me nor forsake me. Thank you for filling me with your spirit and for increasing my faith to trust you more. May your name be glorified in my life now and forevermore. For you, Lord, are the lamp unto my feet and the light to my path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I come before you in prayer, I lift my heart to you, knowing that you are the great physician, the one who heals and restores all things. Your word declares in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Lord, I cling to this promise, trusting in your unfailing love and mercy. Mighty God, I ask for your healing touch to permeate every aspect of my life. I bring before you all my physical ailments, emotional wounds, and spiritual struggles. You see every hurt, every pain, and every burden that weighs heavy on my heart. I lay them all at your feet, knowing that you are able to heal and mend what is broken. I declare your peace over my life, Lord, knowing that you are the Prince of Peace who calms the storms and quiets the raging seas. Your word assures me in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. May your peace flood my soul like a river, washing away all fear anxiety, and worry. As I prepare to sleep, I entrust myself into your loving care. Surround me with your presence, Lord, and fill my mind with thoughts of your goodness 
and faithfulness. Let your peace be my companion through the night, guiding my dreams and refreshing my spirit. I rebuke every spirit of unrest and turmoil in the name of Jesus. For you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. May your perfect love cast out all fear and usher in a deep sense of peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and grace. Thank you for the assurance that you are always with me, even in the darkest of nights. I surrender myself into your loving hands, trusting in your healing power and resting in your peace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Gracious and loving Father, as I come before you in this sacred moment, I am humbled by the depth of your love and the closeness of your presence. Your word in Psalm 139 beautifully declares, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. Lord, I am grateful that you know me intimately. And in this knowledge, I find both peace and security. You are the God who is ever present, and I take refuge in the assurance that there is nowhere I can go where your spirit is not with me. Your constant companionship brings a peace that surpasses all understanding. In the quietness of this moment, I invite your spirit to surround me soothing any restlessness and calming my anxieties. Your words in psalm remind us, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Lord, I rest in the knowledge that you are with me in every corner of my existence, guiding and holding me with your loving hand. As I prepare to lay down and rest, I meditate on the profound truth expressed in your word, which says, I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works my soul knows it very well in acknowledging your intricate design and purpose for my life i find peace for i am under the care of the creator of the universe lord in the stillness of this night i surrender my cares and concerns to you your understanding is infinite, and I trust that you see the depths of my heart. As it says in Psalms, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. So lead me, Lord in the path of everlasting peace. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for your unending love and the reassurance that in your presence I find rest for my soul. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and my mind as I drift off into a peaceful, and rejuvenating sleep. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, 
as the night unfolds and the world around me grows quiet, I turn to you, my source of strength and peace. Your word in Psalm chapter 4, verse 8, resonates in my heart. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Mighty God, I find comfort in the knowledge that my safety and rest are found in you alone. At the close of this day, I bring before you the weariness of my body and the restlessness of my mind. Your invitation in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 is soothing to my soul, which says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In this moment, I come to you, laying down the burdens that weigh on me, seeking the rest that only you can provide. Heavenly Father, you are the God of all comfort, and I lean on your promise from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I wait on you, Lord, to renew my strength as I prepare to rest. I cast my anxieties upon you, for in your word it says, Cast all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. I release the concerns of the day into your capable hands, trusting that you care for every detail of my life. Lord, I acknowledge that you are the giver of good gifts. As stated in James, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of rest and the rejuvenation that comes from sleep. May I receive this gift with a grateful heart. So Lord, in the stillness of this night, I seek your presence and I surrender all to you. Your word assures me that you make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. May your presence surround me, bringing joy and tranquility as I surrender to the embrace of a peaceful sleep. I pray this in the name of Jesus, my Savior and Redeemer. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, as I come before you in this moment, I am grateful for the peace and comfort that your presence brings. Lord, you are the source of all strength, and I humbly seek your guidance and protection as I lay down to rest. Your word reminds us in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, I lift up to you all the worries 
and anxieties that may be weighing on my heart. In your infinite love, replace my fears with the peace that surpasses understanding. Let your calming presence envelop me as I prepare for a restful night's sleep. I surrender all my concerns to you, knowing that you are in control of every situation. Lord, help me to release the burdens of this day and to find rest in your love. In Psalms, I am reminded that the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. You make me lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside quiet waters. You refresh my soul. You guide me along the right path for your name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So mighty God, I trust in your faithfulness and your promises. Grant me the grace to cast all my anxieties on you, for you care for me. As I close my eyes and drift off into sleep, I choose to rest in the assurance of your love and protection. May my sleep be deep and undisturbed, knowing that you are watching over me. I pray all these things in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Gracious and mighty God, in the quiet moments of this night, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and reverence. Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Your love surrounds me, and I seek refuge in your presence as I navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life. Your word teaches us to come to you, all of us who are weary and burdened, and you will give us rest, for you are gentle and humble in heart, and we will find rest for our souls in you. Lord, I surrender to you all of my worries, fears, and burdens. You are the Prince of Peace, and I ask for your peace to fill my heart and mind. Your promise in Isaiah assures us you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. As I lay down to rest, I place my trust in you, acknowledging that you are in control of all things. Your sovereignty brings comfort and assurance. In Psalms, we are reminded of your goodness with these words that say, He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will never slumber nor sleep. Lord, I bring before you not only my own concerns, but also those of my loved ones. May your peace extend to each member of my family and friends. May you cover us with your protective wings and guard us against any anxiety or fear. Your word encourages us in Philippians. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. In this moment of prayer and being in your presence, 
I release control and surrender to your will. Lord, your plans are higher and your ways are perfect. May your Holy Spirit guide me into a deep and restful sleep, free from anxious thoughts. I cling to the promise in Psalms that says, I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night. My heart instructs me. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of rest and the assurance of your unwavering love. I entrust myself into your hands, knowing that you are the good shepherd who watches over your flock. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Mighty God, as I prepare to lay down and rest, I acknowledge your sovereignty and divine presence and I seek your protection over me through the night. Lord, your word assures me that you are my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. I place my trust in you, recognizing that in your mighty hands I find safety and security. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper for you are my shield and defender. Remind me, Lord, that you are always with me. Guard my mind from anxious thoughts and my heart from fear. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, be around me and within me as I surrender every concern and worry into your hands. I rebuke any negative influence or spiritual forces that may seek to disturb my rest. I plead the blood of Jesus over every aspect of my being, my thoughts, my dreams, and my physical well-being. Let your light shine in the darkness, dispelling any lies or shadows of fear or uncertainty. Father, I thank you for being a God who neither slumbers nor sleeps. As I close my eyes, I trust that your watchful eye is upon me and your ears are attentive to my prayers. Cover me with your love and grace, wrapping me in the assurance of your unchanging and everlasting protection. I commit myself into your care, knowing that your plans for me are good and your love for me is unfailing. Grant me a deep and restful sleep, rejuvenating my body, mind, and spirit for the new day ahead. And may I wake up refreshed and renewed, ready to do your will. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, as I settle myself in your presence, your word reminds me in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, that those who wait on you shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Lord, I claim this promise over my life tonight. I acknowledge my dependence on you, the source of all strength and vitality. In moments of weariness, I find refuge in your presence. I cast my burdens and fatigue upon you trusting that you will provide the energy needed to face each day. Grant me 
the perseverance to endure challenges and the strength to overcome obstacles. Fill me with the Holy Spirit that I may be empowered to live a life that glorifies you. Strengthen my inner being, renew my mind, and invigorate my body as I rest in your care, Lord. I surrender my limitations to you and embrace your limitless strength. Your grace is sufficient for me and your power is made perfect in my weakness. May your strength be my portion, enabling me to rise above circumstances and live in the fullness of your purpose for my life. I declare that your joy is my strength and I receive it even in moments of rest. Lord, I entrust myself into your loving hands. I pray not only for myself, but for others who may be feeling depleted and exhausted. May they also find renewed strength and vitality in you. May your love and power flow through their lives just as your power flows through mine. Thank you, Lord, for being our strength and refuge. I rest in the assurance that with you I can do all things because you strengthen me. I pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I rest in your presence, I am reminded of your promise in Psalms chapter 23, verses 2 through 3, which says, He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Lord, I surrender myself to your loving care, trusting that you are the source of true restoration and renewal. In the quietness of this moment, I invite your restoration and healing to flow over me like a gentle stream, calming my anxious heart and soothing my weary soul. Just as you lead beside still waters, I ask that you will quiet the storms that rage within me, bringing a sense of peace and tranquility that can only come from your presence. Mighty God, I acknowledge my need for your restoration in every area of my life. Where there is brokenness, I ask for your healing touch. Where there is despair, I ask for your hope to shine brightly. Where there is confusion, I ask for your wisdom to guide me. Help me, Lord, to release all burdens and cares into your loving hands, knowing that you are faithful to carry them for me. Teach me to rest in your grace, to trust in your timing, and to find peace in your unfailing love. In your word, you promise to renew our strength as we wait upon you. So, Lord, I wait upon you now, knowing that you are at work even in the stillness. Renew my strength, O God, that I may rise up with wings like eagles, soaring above the challenges of life and finding my strength in you alone. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your grace. May your restoration continue to unfold in my life, bringing healing, wholeness, and abundant blessings. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Almighty God, in the quiet moments of rest, I turn to you, the source of all healing and restoration. Your word in Exodus 
chapter 15, verse 26, says, I am the Lord who heals you. Lord, I find comfort in these words, knowing that your healing power is ever present and available to those who call upon your name. As I rest in your presence, I surrender my worries, fears, and anxieties into your loving hands. I invite your healing touch to flow over every aspect of my being, my body, my mind, and my soul. Just as you calmed the stormy seas with a word, I ask that you would calm the storms within me, bringing peace and tranquility to my troubled heart and mind. Lord, I pray for physical healing wherever it is needed, for your power to heal knows no bounds. I trust in your wisdom and in your perfect timing, knowing that you are able to bring about restoration and wholeness in ways that exceed my understanding. I also lift up any emotional or spiritual wounds that I may carry. Heal the brokenness within me and restore my soul to fullness of life. Let your love wash over me like a gentle stream, soothing every ache and filling every emptiness with your presence. In your word, you promise to give rest to the weary and burdened. So Lord, I come to you now, weary and burdened, and I lay those burdens at your feet. Grant me your rest, O Lord, that I may find refuge in you and be renewed in my body, mind, and spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your steadfast love. May your healing and restoration continue to unfold in my life, bringing glory and honor to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I prepare to rest in the stillness of this night, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude for the gift of life and the health that sustains me. You are the ultimate source of life and healing, and I seek your blessings over my physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Lord, I thank you for making me fearfully and wonderfully made by your hands. I acknowledge that every breath I take is a gift from you, and I ask for your continued grace to bless and sustain my health. May your divine touch course through every cell, organ, and system within me, bringing vitality and strength. I bring before you any areas of my health that need your healing touch. You are the God who heals all our diseases, and I trust in your promise that by your wounds we are healed. I surrender, Lord, to your will, knowing that your plans for me are good and that your mercies are new every morning. Lord Jesus, I invite you into the spaces of my life that need restoration and healing. Whether physical ailments, emotional scars, or spiritual wounds, I place them all at the foot of your cross. Let your redeeming love flow through me, bringing wholeness and renewal to every aspect of my being. Grant me wisdom, O Lord, to steward my body well. Remind me, Lord, that my body is your temple, a place for you to dwell and delight. So may my choices reflect the gratitude I have for the temple you have given me. As I close 
my eyes, I pray for your peace to settle over me. Release any tension, anxiety, or stress that may hinder my well-being. Let the sweet assurance of your presence be a healing remedy, soothing any discomfort or pain. I also lift up those around me who may be in need of physical, emotional, or spiritual healing. May your compassionate touch reach them, bringing comfort and restoration, just as your compassionate touch reaches me, Lord. Mighty God, I surrender my health into your hands, trusting that your plans are higher than my own. May your will be done in my life, and may I be a vessel of your love and healing to those around me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Gracious Father, in the stillness of this night, I come before you, acknowledging the magnitude of your healing power and the depth of your boundless love. As I lay down, I recognize my need for your healing touch and the yearning in my heart for increased faith. Lord, you are the great physician, the one who mends broken hearts and restores wounded spirits. Lord, I open my heart to your transformative grace. I surrender to your divine wisdom, trusting that your healing power surpasses all understanding. You are the God who brings comfort to the afflicted, and I find rest in the knowledge that your love is a remedy that can soothe every ache and pain. I bring before you all areas of my life that need your restoration, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, I place these concerns in your capable hands. Touch me, Lord, with your healing grace, and let your divine light penetrate every corner of my being. As I close my eyes and drift off into sleep, I pray for increased faith. Grant me the strength to believe in your promises, even in the midst of uncertainty. May my faith be an anchor that holds firm, unswayed by the storms of life. Illuminate the path of my journey with the radiant light of your truth, guiding me toward a deeper understanding of your infinite love. I place my trust in you, Lord, acknowledging that your ways are higher than my ways, and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Let your spirit work within me, aligning my heart with your divine purpose. As I rest, let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Remind me, Lord, that all things work for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. I pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I lay down to rest, I thank you for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me, for the moments of joy and the challenges that have strengthened my faith. Lord, I surrender my thoughts, my anxieties, and my uncertainties to you. In this quiet moment, I seek your presence to envelop me like a warm and comforting blanket. I trust in your promises, for your word is a lamp 
unto my feet, and a light unto my path. As I close my eyes, I pray for increased faith in my life. Strengthen the foundation of my belief, O Lord, that it may withstand the storms of doubt and uncertainty. May my faith grow like a mustard seed, steadily and resiliently, until it blossoms into a tree rooted deeply in your love and grace. Lord, speak to me in my dreams. Let your whispers of wisdom and guidance permeate my subconscious. Grant me the clarity to discern your will and the courage to follow it. In the stillness of the night, may your spirit speak to my soul, reinforcing the truth that I am fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. I cast all my cares upon you, for you care for me. Grant me a restful sleep, free from the burdens that often weigh on my heart. As I close my eyes, I choose to focus on your goodness, your mercy, and your unchanging love. Let the sweet assurance of your presence be a lullaby to my soul, calming every restless thought. Lord, I surrender my plans and desires to you. May your will be done in my life. If there are any areas where my faith is weak, I pray for the strength to trust you more deeply. Help me to walk by faith and not by sight, knowing that you are with me every step of the way. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the quietness of this moment, I come before you, acknowledging the troubles that weigh on my mind. And in this moment, I invite you into my thoughts and emotions. Lord, I surrender to you the challenges, anxieties, and uncertainties that cloud my mind. Your word declares that you are near to the brokenhearted and save the crushed in spirit. I seek your healing presence to light up the darkness in my mind, bringing clarity, peace, and restoration. I recognize that you are the God who can transform minds and renew thoughts. I pray for a renewal of my mind, that the patterns of fear and worry may be replaced by thoughts that align with your wisdom, your love, and your truth. Remove any strongholds of negativity, doubt, and fear, replacing them with the assurance of your presence and the promises of your word. As I rest, may your peace be a soothing remedy, quieting the storms within my mind. Grant me restful sleep, free from thoughts of worry and turmoil that often accompany the night. May I wake up with a mind that is renewed and ready to face the challenges of a new day. I pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I lay down to rest, I come before you with a heart that seeks your strength and refuge. Your word in Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 through 30 resonates in my spirit, where Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke 
upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Lord, I am grateful for the invitation to come to you in my weariness. I surrender my burdens, struggles, and challenges of the day at the foot of the cross. Your promise of rest for my soul is a soothing remedy to my spirit, and I receive it with gratitude. In the quiet moments of this night, I seek your strength, which surpasses my own. Your word tells me that in my weakness, your power is made perfect. I acknowledge my limitations, knowing that it is through your grace that I find strength. Strengthen me, O Lord, as I rest and renew my spirit for the tasks that lie ahead. I am mindful of the battles that may have been fought today, both seen and unseen. As I close my eyes, I place my trust in your protective hand. Guard my mind from anxious thoughts and my heart from fear. Your strength is my shield, and in you I find courage to face each day. May the peace that surpasses all understanding surround me as I sleep. Your presence is my fortress, and I take refuge in the shadow of your wings. Be my guide through the night, leading me in the path of righteousness. Lord, I am grateful for the assurance that your strength is more than enough for me. In my vulnerability, I find security in your unfailing love. As I rest, may the power of your word and the assurance of your presence be a source of strength and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I lay down to rest tonight, I acknowledge that you are the Alpha and the Omega, the creator of all things, and I am humbled by the privilege to be with you in this moment. Lord, I thank you for the gift of this day, for the breath in my lungs, and for the countless blessings that you have bestowed upon me. In the quiet moments of this night, I seek your presence and invite your spirit to fill my room with your peace. Gracious God, I acknowledge that life can be filled with challenges and uncertainties. Yet, I take comfort in your promise that you are always with me, guiding my steps and watching over me. Your word assures me that you are a God of peace, and I cast all my anxieties and worries upon you, knowing that you care for me as I prepare to drift off into a deep sleep. I ask for your divine protection over my mind, body, and spirit. Guard my thoughts and dreams shielding them from anything that is not of you. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, be placed on me like a warm and comforting blanket. Lord, I surrender my plans and desires to your will. May your providence guide the course of my life. Help me to trust in your timing and to walk in faith, knowing that you have a purpose for every season and circumstance. I am grateful for the promise 
of a new day that your mercies bring. May I wake up refreshed and renewed, ready to face whatever challenges may come my way, knowing that I do so with you by my side. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Mighty God, in the stillness of this moment, I come before you with a heart open to your presence. In the quietness of this night, I seek the depths of your love and the assurance of your peace. Your word tells me that you neither slumber nor sleep, and I find comfort in knowing that I rest under the watchful gaze of the Almighty. Lord, I thank you for the gift of this day, for the moments of joy and the challenges as well. As I surrender my weariness to you, I invite your spirit to surround me with the serenity that can only come from your presence. Let your peace be a soothing remedy to my soul, calming every anxious thoughts and quieting every restless part of my being. Lord, as I settle down, I reflect on your faithfulness throughout the ages. You are the God who never changes, whose promises endure forever. I trust in your unfailing love and the security that comes from being held in your mighty hands. I ask for your guidance in my dreams, Lord. May the visions of this night be reflections of your wisdom and grace. Let your spirit speak to my heart, revealing any areas where I need your guidance or correction. May the dreams be a source of inspiration and encouragement, preparing me for the challenges and opportunities of the days to come. I surrender my burdens and concerns to you, Lord. As I release the weight of this day, I choose to trust in your providence and to find my rest in your unfailing love. As I close my eyes, I do so with gratitude for your constant presence. May your love and protection stand guard around me, and may I wake up in the morning renewed and refreshed, ready to face a new day in your grace. In the most powerful name, the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Gracious and loving Father, as I surrender to the quiet embrace of the night, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and awe. You are the God of infinite mercy, the shepherd who watches over your flock with unwavering love. I seek your presence, Lord, as I prepare to rest knowing that in you I find my refuge and strength. Your promises, O Lord, are a beacon of hope, and I trust in your unchanging character and the promises you have declared over my life. Lord, as I lay down, I ask for the covering of your protection and the remedy of your presence. Your word assures me that you are my shield and fortress, a stronghold in times of trouble. I place my trust in you, asking you to guard my mind from anxious thoughts and my heart from fear, for in you I find perfect peace. Surround me, O Lord, with your presence. Create a hedge of protection around me, guarding against any spiritual forces that may seek to disturb my rest. I declare the power of the blood of Jesus over my sleep, 
knowing that it is a shield against any darkness, I invite your Holy Spirit to fill this space with the soothing remedy of your presence. May your peace be tangible, settling upon me like a gentle dove. Quiet the storms within my soul and bring tranquility to the deepest parts of my being. Your presence is my sanctuary, and I rest assured that in you I am safe. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke any attacks of the enemy against my mind, body, or spirit. I declare victory in Christ and claim the promise of deep and restful sleep. Your word says that you give your beloved sleep, and I receive this gift with gratitude. With my eyes closed, I rest with confidence in your love and trust in your provision. May I wake up in the morning with a heart filled with praise, ready to embrace the new day that you have ordained. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as the night settles into slumber, I come before you in humble reverence, seeking the comfort and assurance of your presence. Your word reminds me in Psalm chapter 4, verse 8, In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Gracious God, you are the eternal light that guides my path and the steadfast anchor of my soul. As I prepare to rest, I ask that you surround me with your loving presence. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, envelop me like a warm embrace dispelling every trace of fear and anxiety. Lord, I long to experience the fullness of your presence as I surrender to sleep. May your spirit abide with me through the night, filling the darkness with your radiant glory. Banish every shadow of doubt and uncertainty and let your light shine brightly within the depths of my being. As I close my eyes and release the cares of this world, I place my trust in you, knowing that you are always near, watching over me with unfailing love. I ask that you would keep watch over me as I rest. In the quiet stillness of this night, Speak to my heart, O Lord, and let your words of comfort and reassurance be my guiding light. May your presence bring me peace in times of trouble and strength in moments of weakness. Father, I surrender my worries and burdens into your hands, confident that you are able to sustain me through the darkest of nights. Grant me the grace to find true rest in you, knowing that you are the source of all peace and security. As I drift into sleep, may the melody of your love serenade my soul, soothing every troubled thought and filling me with your perfect peace. In your presence, O Lord, I find refuge and strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Almighty Father, as I close my eyes and surrender to the embrace of sleep, I come before you with a heart recognizing your infinite mercy and boundless love. Your word reminds me in Psalm chapter 30, verse 2. Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. Gracious healer, I place my trust in you, 
knowing that your hands are capable of miracles beyond my comprehension. In this moment of vulnerability, I seek refuge in your presence, O Lord. May your divine light shine upon me, illuminating the darkness of sickness and illness. I pray for healing, that you may touch every part of my body and mind with your healing grace. Strengthen my body, O Lord, and grant me the endurance to overcome any trials. May your healing power flow through my veins like a river of life, revitalizing every cell and restoring me to full health. But beyond physical healing, I also seek healing for my spirit and soul. Heal the wounds of doubt, fear, and despair that linger within me. Renew my faith, O Lord, and grant me the peace that surpasses all understanding. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, that I may find rest in your presence and courage in your promises. As I lay my head down to rest, I entrust myself into your loving care, knowing that you never slumber nor sleep. Watch over me through the night, O Lord. Grant me restful and healing sleep, free from all anxiety and worry, so that I may awaken refreshed and renewed, ready to embrace each new day as a gift from your hands. In the most powerful name, the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Eternal and everlasting God, as I prepare to enter the realm of sleep, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude for the promises you have spoken over my life. Your word declares in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 for I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future Lord I am in awe of your faithfulness and goodness your promises are my anchor in the storms of life and tonight as I rest I cling to them with unwavering faith you have promised to guide me, protect me, and lead me into a future filled with hope and purpose. Lord, I surrender every worry, doubt, and fear into your hands, knowing that you hold my future securely in your grasp. Your promises are my shield against the enemy's schemes, and your word is a lamp unto my feet, guiding me along the path of righteousness. As I drift into sleep, I pray that your promises would surround me like a fortress, guarding my heart and mind from the distractions of this world. Let your truth penetrate the deepest part of my soul, filling me with peace and assurance that you are always with me every step of the way. Father, remind me of your promises even in my dreams, that I may awaken with renewed faith and confidence in your unfailing love. May your presence be my constant companion, comforting me in times of trial and rejoicing with me in times of triumph. As I rest in your promises tonight, may your Holy Spirit minister to my heart, speaking words of comfort, encouragement, and hope. May I rise tomorrow with a renewed sense of purpose and a deeper understanding of your great love for me. Thank you, Lord, for the promises you have spoken over my life. I trust in your faithfulness, and I know that your plans for me are good. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, amen.
Mighty God, in this moment of stillness, I come before you in need of your healing touch. Your word declares in Psalm chapter 107, verse 20, He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Lord, I lift up to you every ache, every pain, and every affliction that weighs upon my body. You are the great physician, and I place my trust in your miraculous power to bring forth healing and restoration. Your love for your children knows no bounds, and I am confident that you hear my cries for help. Lord, I ask that you would lay your healing hands upon me as I sleep. Let your divine presence permeate every cell of my being, driving out sickness and infirmity. Speak your word of healing over me, and may your healing power flow through my body like a mighty river, washing away all traces of illness, worry, and anxiety. Father, I know that your ways are higher than my ways, and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Help me to surrender to your perfect will, trusting that your timing is always perfect. Grant me patience and perseverance as I await your healing touch, knowing that you are always working for my good. In the quietness of this night, may your peace wash over me like a gentle breeze, soothing my troubled mind and calming my anxious heart. Give me the strength to rest in your promises, knowing that you are always by my side, watching over me with love and compassion. I entrust myself into your loving care, knowing that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I could ask, think, or imagine. May your healing power continue to work in me even as I sleep, bringing forth wholeness and restoration to every part of my being. Let your power of renewal be over my body, my mind, and my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your unfailing love. I praise you for working all things for my good. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I rest my body and mind in this moment, I come before you in humility and surrender. Your word assures me in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, I confess that my mind is often troubled and restless, filled with worries and anxieties that weigh me down. But I know that you are the Prince of Peace, and your desire is to grant me a peace that surpasses all understanding. I lay before you all my concerns, fears, and uncertainties, knowing that you are the one who holds the universe in your hands. I surrender my need for control and place my trust in your perfect plan for my life. Help me to release my worries into your loving care and to find true rest in your presence. Father, as I close my eyes and drift off to sleep, I ask that you would fill my mind with your peace. Quiet the storm within me and calm the restless waves of anxiety. Let your peace wash over me like a gentle stream, 
soothing my troubled thoughts and bringing me into a state of tranquil rest. Guard my mind, O Lord, and protect it from the attacks of the enemy. Shield me from negative thoughts and harmful distractions and help me to focus on your promises of love, grace, and mercy. May your peace reign in my heart throughout the night, keeping me safe and secure in your love. And as I awaken to a new day, may your peace continue to guide me, giving me strength and courage to face whatever challenges may come my way. Thank you, Father, for your abiding presence and your constant care. I trust in your faithfulness, and I rest in your peace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, as I come before your presence, I am grateful for the gift of another day and the opportunity to seek your comfort and healing. Lord, I lift up to you the weariness and burdens that I carry, and I ask for your divine touch to bring deep and restful sleep. In this quiet moment, I surrender my anxieties, fears, and uncertainties into your loving hands. Your word reminds me that you are the God who neither slumbers nor sleeps, and I find peace in the assurance that you watch over me throughout the night. I pray for the healing touch of your grace to surround every part of my being, mind, body, and soul. May your soothing presence bring peace to my troubled thoughts and bring calmness to my restless spirit. I declare your promises of healing over my life, trusting in your faithfulness to restore and renew. Lord, I invite your Holy Spirit to fill my dreams with visions of your love and mercy. May your Spirit stand guard around me, providing a hedge of protection as I rest in your care. I trust and believe that you are the great physician, the one who heals all wounds and ailments. I ask for your healing touch to mend any brokenness within me, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. May your power flow through every cell and fiber of my being, bringing restoration and wholeness. I also lift up those who are in need of healing around me, whether they are family, friends, or acquaintances. I ask for your mercy to touch their lives and bring forth miracles of recovery and redemption. Lord, I thank you for the promise of a new day that awaits me when I awaken. May I rise with a heart full of gratitude for your goodness and a renewed sense of purpose in serving you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in this moment of sleep, I come before your throne, acknowledging your sovereignty over all things, including my mind and body. You are the divine physician, the great healer, and the comforter of all who seek you. As I lift my voice in prayer, I ask for your healing touch to descend upon my mind. Lord, heal the wounds, calm the storms, and bring clarity where there is confusion. Renew my mind, O Lord, and grant me your peace that surpasses all understanding. 
in your word you have promised in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus may this promise be made manifest in my life today as I surrender my mind to you Lord I trust in your unfailing love and mercy your word declares in Psalm chapter 23 verse 3 he restores my soul he guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake may your restoring power flow through me guiding me into the paths of righteousness bringing wholeness and healing to my mind father I rebuke any fear anxiety or doubt that seeks to take residence within my thoughts replace them with your perfect love your peace and your assurance help me to dwell on whatever is true noble right pure lovely and admirable thank you Lord for hearing my prayer and for your promise to always be with me strengthen my faith and grant me patience as I wait upon your perfect timing in all that you do in Jesus mighty name I pray amen gracious and merciful God as I lay down to rest I come before your throne seeking your healing touch and your perfect peace to envelop my life you are the source of all comfort and strength and in your presence there is fullness of joy Lord your word assures us in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand I cling to this promise tonight knowing that your presence brings courage strength and unwavering support Heavenly Father I surrender all my worries anxieties and burdens at your feet replace them with your peace that surpasses all understanding Lord Jesus you are the Good Shepherd who leads us beside still waters and restores our souls lead me into the deepest parts of your peace tonight where my soul finds rest and restoration in your presence may your healing power flow through every aspect of my life bringing wholeness and renewal heal any wounds physical emotional or spiritual grant me your strength to face each new day with confidence in your love and provision thank you Lord for your faithfulness and for your promise to never leave nor forsake me as I rest tonight I trust in your unfailing love and sovereignty over my life in the name of Jesus I pray amen Heavenly Father as I prepare to lay my head in this place of rest I come before you longing for your comforting presence to surround me you are the God who neither slumbers nor sleeps and I trust in your watchful care over my life even as I sleep Lord your word in Psalm chapter 4 verse 8 says in peace I will lie down and sleep for you alone Lord make me dwell in safety I cling to this promise tonight knowing that your presence brings security and peace dispelling all anxiety and fear gracious God I surrender my anxious thoughts and worries into your loving hands your word encourages us 
in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, to cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. I release all my burdens to you, trusting that you care deeply for me and will provide the peace that surpasses all understanding. Holy Spirit, breathe your calming presence into my restless soul. Fill me with your peace that transcends all circumstances, guarding my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Father, I ask for your divine intervention to clear away every trace of anxiety and apprehension from my mind. Replace them with your assurance and confidence in your unfailing love and sovereignty over my life. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your promise to never leave nor forsake me, even in the darkest of nights. As I surrender to sleep, I trust in your guidance and protection. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I prepare to enter the stillness of sleep, I lift my heart to you in prayer, seeking your divine presence to envelop me. You are the God who doesn't slumber nor sleep, and I trust in your unwavering watchfulness over my life, even in the darkness of night. I cling to the promise that says you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are stayed on you. Knowing that I place my trust in you, you will guard my heart and mind with your perfect peace, dispelling all my worries and anxieties. Lord, I surrender every burden, every fear, and every concern into your loving hands. Your word says in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So, Lord, I come to you, laying down all my worries, knowing that you will grant me the rest my soul desperately needs. Holy Spirit, I open up my heart and my mind to you. Clear away every trace of anxiety and worry, and fill me with your peace that transcends all understanding. Father, sweep away every worry and every fear that tries to entangle my mind. Replace it with your unwavering assurance of your love and your care for me. As your word declares in 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out all fear. Thank you, Lord, for your constant presence and your unchanging love as I surrender to the restful embrace of sleep. I trust in your protection and in your guiding hand over my life. In the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace, I pray. Amen. Mighty God, as I prepare to rest my weary mind, I come before you seeking your divine peace to quiet the storm of overthinking within me. You are the God who gives rest to the weary and peace to the troubled soul, and I trust in your unfailing love and care for me. Lord, your word in Psalm chapter 46 verse 10 declares, Be still and know that I am God. Tonight, I surrender my restless thoughts and overactive mind into your loving hands. Help me to be still in your presence, trusting in your sovereignty, your promises, 
and your perfect plan for my life. Gracious God, I confess that my mind often races with worries and concerns, causing anxiety and unrest within me. Your word invites me in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, to not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. I lay down my burdens before you, trusting that you will provide for all my needs according to your riches in glory. Holy Spirit, fill up this place with your calming presence. Quiet the voices of doubt and fear. And where my overthinking runs deep, remind me that your peace runs deeper. Father, I ask for your grace to help me let go of the need to control every outcome and to trust in your perfect wisdom and timing. Replace my anxious thoughts with a deep sense of your presence and your loving care for me. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your promises to never leave nor forsake me. As I surrender to sleep in this moment, I trust in your protection and your peace that is over all things, even my restless mind. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the quiet of this moment, I come before you with a heart burdened by overthinking and a mind consumed by worries. Lord, you understand the depth of my struggles and the weight of my thoughts. I ask for your divine intervention to calm the turbulence within me as I prepare to rest. Father, your word reminds me in Psalm chapter 4, verse 8, In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Tonight I surrender my racing thoughts and anxious mind into your loving care. Grant me the peace that can only come from your presence, a peace that transcends all understanding. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace, and I invite your calming presence to fill my heart and mind. Quiet the storm of overthinking that rages within me, and help me to find rest in you. Your word promises in John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. May your peace, Lord, flood my soul, driving out all fear and worry. Holy Spirit, breathe your soothing comfort into the deepest parts of my being. Wrap me in your loving embrace and ease the burdens that weigh heavily upon me. Help me to release control and trust in your perfect plan for my life. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your unfailing love. As I surrender my overthinking mind to you, I trust in your promise to guide me through the night and into the light of a new day filled with your grace and mercy. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, as I drift off into sleep, I turn my heart towards you, the giver of peace and the keeper of my soul. In the quiet of this moment, I seek your presence to envelop me and grant me a deep and restful sleep. Lord, your word assures us in Psalm chapter 29, verse 11, the Lord 
gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. I claim this promise over my life tonight, trusting that your peace will surround me like a shield guarding my heart and mind as I sleep. Father, I surrender all worries, fears, and anxieties into your loving hands. You are the God who never slumbers nor sleeps, and I trust in your watchful care over me through the night. Help me to release all my cares to you, knowing that you are able to carry them far beyond what I can imagine. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace, and I invite your calming presence to settle upon me. Quiet the storm of my thoughts and concerns, and grant me a deep and undisturbed sleep. Your word promises in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Lord, I come to you, seeking your rest for my weary soul. May the peace that comes with the presence of your Holy Spirit fill up every part of my being. Lord, fill me with your presence and your tranquility banishing all restlessness and anxiety. Lord, help me to trust in your perfect peace, which surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Lord, for your constant presence and your unchanging love. As I surrender to sleep, I trust in your plans and promises over my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I lay down to rest in the comforting embrace of sleep, I come before you seeking your divine touch of healing upon my body, mind, and spirit. You are the one who holds the power to mend every brokenness, soothe every ache, and to bring restoration to every part of my being. In the stillness of this night, I surrender all my worries, anxieties, and pains into your loving hands. I release every burden that weighs heavy upon my heart, knowing that you are my refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. I trust in your unfailing love and mercy to surround me to uplift me and to grant me the peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord Jesus, you walked among us, healing the sick, restoring the sight to the blind, and raising the dead to life. Your compassionate touch brought hope to the hopeless and joy to the despairing. I cling to your promise. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, where you said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. In this moment, I come to you, laying down my weariness, my pain, and my sickness at your feet, trusting in your unfailing grace to bring renewal and healing to my body, soul, and spirit. I pray that as I enter into the realm of sleep, your healing presence would surround me like a gentle embrace, bringing comfort to my weary soul and strength to my body. Let your divine light shine upon every part of me, illuminating the darkness of sickness and infirmity with the radiance of your healing love. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, filling me with all hope and courage to face 
each new day with faith and confidence in your promises. Gracious God, may your mercy and compassion flow abundantly upon my life, bringing wholeness and restoration. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the quiet of this night, I come before your throne of grace, seeking your divine touch of healing as I lay down to rest. Your word tells me in John chapter 14, verse 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Lord, I cling to this promise, trusting in your unwavering love and unfathomable peace to surround me as I surrender myself into your care. As I close my eyes and entrust my weary body to you, I ask for your healing presence to wash over me like a gentle wave soothing every ache, alleviating every pain, and restoring every part of my being. You, Lord, are the great physician, the one who spoke the universe into existence and breathed life into humanity. With you, nothing is impossible, and your healing power knows no bounds. I surrender all my fears anxieties, and worries into your hands, knowing that you are my refuge and strength, a present help in times of trouble. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, filling me with courage and hope for the journey ahead. Lord Jesus, you walked this earth, healing the sick, comforting the brokenhearted, and bringing hope to the hopeless. Your touch brought restoration and wholeness to those who were suffering. I humbly ask that you extend your healing hand over me tonight, bringing renewal to my body, mind, and spirit. May your presence be like a warm blanket covering me with your love and your mercy. And may your angels stand guard around me, protecting me from all harm. Grant me a deep and restful sleep, knowing that you are watching over me and working all things together for my good. I also lift up to you all those who are in need of your healing touch tonight. May your grace abound in their lives, bringing comfort, strength, and restoration, as you are doing in mine. In the powerful and holy name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I surrender myself to the restful embrace of sleep, I come before your throne with a heart filled with gratitude and trust. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who holds all things in your mighty hands. Your word assures me in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Lord, I fix my gaze upon you, trusting in your faithfulness to grant me your perfect peace that transcends all understanding. In the stillness of this night, I seek your healing touch to encompass every part of my being. I lay before you all my physical and mental ailments emotional burdens, and spiritual struggles, knowing that you 
are intimately acquainted with every detail of my life. I surrender them all into your loving care, trusting in your sovereign power to bring forth healing and restoration according to your perfect will. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace, and your presence brings calm to the storm-tossed seas of life. I invite you to reign supreme in my heart, filling every corner with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Let your peace be like a mighty river flowing through the deepest part of my soul, washing away all anxiety, fear, and doubt. May your peace guard my heart and mind, anchoring me securely in your love and truth. With my eyes closed for rest in this divine moment, I ask for your presence to be around me in this moment, shielding me from the schemes of the enemy and surrounding me with your protective presence. Grant me a deep and restful sleep, free from disturbances and distractions, as I place my trust completely in you. Father, I also pray for your peace to permeate every aspect of my life. May your peace reign in my relationships, my work, my dreams, and my aspirations. Help me to walk in your peace each day, reflecting your love and grace to those around me. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your unfailing love. I commit myself into your hands, knowing that you are always with me, guiding me and sustaining me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Mighty God, as I enter the restful embrace of sleep, I come before you with a heart full of faith and hope. Your word assures me in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17, for I will restore health to you and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord. Lord, I hold on to this promise, knowing that your healing power is limitless and your love for me knows no bounds. In this moment of quiet surrender, I lay before you all physical, emotional, and spiritual afflictions. You are the one who knit me together in my mother's womb and knows every fiber of my being. I trust in your tender care to bring forth healing and restoration to every aspect of my life. Lord Jesus, your touch brings forth miracles, and your words bring forth life and transformation. I humbly ask that you extend your healing hand over me tonight, bringing renewal to my body, my mind, and my spirit. May your presence surround me, soothing every ache, alleviating every pain, and bringing comfort to my weary soul. May my heart and mind be guarded in Christ Jesus, and fill me with courage and hope for the journey ahead. Grant me a deep and restful sleep, free from disturbances and distractions as I place my trust entirely in you. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your unfailing love. I surrender myself into your hands, knowing that you are always with me, guiding me and sustaining me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, in this moment, of quietness and rest. I lift up my heart to you with a spirit of surrender and trust. Your word declares in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, Do not fear, 
for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, I hold on to this promise, knowing that you are with me every step of the way in this journey of life, no matter what happens. In this moment of vulnerability, I lay before you all my fears, doubts, and uncertainties. I acknowledge your sovereignty and your perfect will, trusting that your plans for me are good and that you work all things together for my good. Though I may not understand your ways, I choose to trust in your redeeming power and unfailing love. Lord Jesus, you are the ultimate healer, the one who bore our sicknesses and carried our pains on the cross. By your wounds we are healed. I declare your healing power over my life, trusting that your grace is more than sufficient for me. Whether you choose to heal miraculously or walk with me through the journey of illness, I surrender to your will, knowing that your ways are higher than my ways, and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. May your sovereignty and victorious power anchor me securely, reminding me of your love and truth. Help me to fix my eyes on you, the author and perfecter of my faith, trusting that you are able to do immeasurably more than all I could ask, think, or imagine. As I navigate these seasons of life, I ask for your strength to sustain me, your wisdom to guide me, and your presence to comfort me. Grant me the courage to face each day with faith and hope, knowing that you are with me, holding me in the palm of your hand. Father, I surrender all aspects of my being into your loving care, trusting that your purposes will prevail and your glory will be revealed. May your will be done in my life, on earth as it is in heaven. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart full of gratitude and faith, knowing that you are the ultimate source of healing and restoration. Your word declares in Psalm chapter 103, verse 3, He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Lord, I cling to this promise with unwavering trust, believing that your healing power is at work in my life right now. I declare your promises over every area of my being, my body, my mind, and my spirit. Just as you healed the sick and the afflicted during your time on earth, I believe that you are still working miracles today. Your love knows no bounds, and your compassion for your children is limitless. I ask for your healing touch to flow through every cell and fiber of my body, bringing restoration and wholeness where there is sickness and pain. May your healing power penetrate every illness, injury, and ailment, leaving no trace of sickness behind. Lord, I surrender myself completely to your will, knowing that your plans for me are perfect and good. Help me to trust in your timing and to remain steadfast in faith, even when the road seems long and difficult. Your word assures me in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. I will give you back 
your health and heal your wounds. I rebuke every spirit of sickness, disease, and infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By his stripes I am healed, and I claim this truth over my life today. I refuse to accept anything less than the abundant life that you have promised to your children. Father, I thank you for the gift of life and for the opportunity to experience your healing grace in my life. May your presence surround me like a shield, protecting me from harm and filling me with peace that surpasses all understanding. No matter what happens, Lord, I will place my trust in you, believing that you are working all things for my good. I trust that your ways are higher than my ways, and that you are more than able to work all circumstances for my good, for your glory, and for a bigger purpose that I cannot see yet. I pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty Father, in this moment of stillness and rest, I come before you with all of my worries, anxieties, and anything else that is weighing on my heart and mind. Lord, you are the God of restoration and healing, and I cry out to you to bring wholeness and renewal to my mind. Your word assures me in Psalm chapter 23, verse 3, saying, He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Lord, I claim this promise over my life, trusting in your ability to restore anything that has been lost. Father, I confess every anxious thought, every moment of fear, and any struggle with mental illness before you. You know the deepest parts of my pain and the inner turmoil that I face. I surrender all my burdens to you, knowing that you are the only one who can bring true healing and peace to my mind. I ask for your healing touch to renew every part of my being, bringing restoration and wholeness to my body, mind, and spirit. Heal the wounds that anxiety and overthinking have caused and replace them with your perfect peace and joy. Lord, I rebuke every spirit of fear, anxiety, and mental illness in the mighty name of Jesus. You have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Help me to claim this truth over my life, walking in the freedom and victory that you have provided through your Son, Jesus Christ. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, Lord, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. May your presence fill me with hope and confidence, knowing that you are with me every step of the way. Father, I thank you for your faithfulness and your promise to never leave me nor forsake me. Thank you for the healing that you are bringing to my mind even now. Help me to trust in your timing and to lean on your strength as I walk the path of recovery. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, in this quiet moment of rest, I surrender the challenges and uncertainties of the day into your loving hands. I cast my anxieties upon you, for you care for me. Fill my heart with the assurance that even in my vulnerability, your love and your strength sustains me. For your mercies are new every morning, 
and your faithfulness is unwavering to me. Your word assures me in Psalm chapter 18, verse 2, that you are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. So Lord, I place my trust in you, recognizing that your strength is made perfect in my weakness. Lord, grant me the wisdom to discern your will in every situation. I also ask for your peace that surpasses all understanding, that it may guard my heart and mind, providing a sanctuary of stillness and of your presence as I rest. Lord, I pray for your strength to be a shield around me, defending me from the stresses and pressures of life. In your presence, may I find a refuge where my soul can be restored and my spirit renewed. Let your light shine in the darkness, dispelling any shadows that attempt to threaten my peace. So as I drift off into rest, I declare your promises over my life. May your strength empower me for the journey ahead, and your peace guard my heart through the night. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Mighty God, in the stillness of this night, I lay before you the burdens, worries, and anxieties that may have taken residence in my mind. I surrender them to you, knowing that your love is greater than any fear or turmoil. Replace any anxious thoughts that I have with the tranquility that comes from trusting in you. Lord, your word reminds me that you promise peace that surpasses all understanding in Christ Jesus. So I claim this promise over my thoughts and emotions as I prepare to rest. I ask for your healing power to flow through the intricate pathways of my mind. Mend any brokenness, restore any weariness, and bring clarity to my thoughts. Your word declares that you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. So I choose to trust in you, seeking the peace that only you can provide. Lord, I pray for protection against the negative influences that might try to attack my mind. Shield me from the lies of the enemy and fill my thoughts with that which is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Let your word be a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, guiding my thoughts in accordance with your will. As I rest, I trust in your promise to give sleep to those you love. May this time of rest be an opportunity for you to heal and rejuvenate my mind. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Almighty God, in this moment of stillness, as I drift off to sleep, I recognize your sovereignty over all things. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The one who holds power and all authority is in your hands. As I rest, I seek your strength and peace to permeate every aspect of my life. Lord, your word reminds me in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29, which says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. I am grateful for your promise to renew my strength when I am weary 
and to empower me when I am weak. In this moment, I lean on your promises, trusting in your unwavering faithfulness. Father, I surrender my burdens, my worries, and my fears to you. You are the source of all comfort and peace, and I invite your presence to fill this space where I rest. Wrap me up in your loving arms and let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Lord, I ask for your strength to sustain me in times of trial. When I feel overwhelmed by life's challenges, remind me that your grace is always sufficient and your power is made perfect in my weakness. Help me to trust in your unfailing love, knowing that you are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Father, I pray for your guidance and direction in every area of my life. Order my steps according to your will and lead me on paths of righteousness for your name's sake. May your spirit be my constant companion, guiding me with wisdom and discernment. As I rest in your presence, Lord, I am reminded of your promise in John chapter 14, verse 27, which says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. May your peace flood my soul like a river, washing away all anxiety and fear. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and provision. May your strength sustain me, and your peace reign in my heart, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, in the quiet of this moment, I come before your throne, humbled by your grace and in awe of your boundless love. You are the great physician, the one who holds the power to heal and restore. As I rest in your presence, I surrender all my burdens, my fears, and my worries to you. Lord, I thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that fills my lungs, and for the beating of my heart. Even in the midst of pain and uncertainty, I find rest in your promises, knowing that you are with me every step of the way. Your word assures me that by your wounds I am healed. I cling to this truth, trusting in your unfailing love to encompass me. Father, I ask for your healing touch to be upon my body, mind, and spirit. Let your gentle hands soothe every ache, every ailment, and every distressing thought. Pour out your peace upon me like a refreshing stream, washing away all anxiety and filling me with your divine tranquility. Lord, I also pray for wisdom and discernment for those who are caring for me. Guide their hands and hearts. Grant them compassion, strength, and peace. Bless them, Lord, as they are vessels of your mercy and instruments of your grace. As I rest in your presence, Lord, I surrender my will to yours. Help me to trust in your timing, knowing that you make all things beautiful in your perfect time. Grant me the patience to endure, the faith to believe, and the hope to persevere through every trial. May your healing power flow through every fiber of my being, restoring me to wholeness and vitality. Let your light shine brightly 
within me, illuminating the path of healing and renewal. May my life be a testament to your faithfulness and a beacon of your love to all who encounter me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Mighty God, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and reverence, knowing that you are the source of all healing and restoration. Your word tells me in Psalm chapter 30, verse 2, Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. I cling to this promise, trusting in your faithfulness to answer the cry of my heart. Lord, as I rest in your presence, I surrender all my fears and anxieties unto you. You are my refuge and strength, a constant presence in times of trouble. I take comfort in knowing that you are always near, guiding me with your steadfast love and grace. I ask for your healing touch to be upon my body, mind, and soul. Let your divine power flow through me, bringing restoration to every part of my being. Like the woman who reached out and touched the hem of your garment, Lord, I reach out to you in faith, believing that your touch will bring healing and wholeness to my life. Help me to trust in your perfect timing, knowing that you make all things beautiful in your time. May my life, through every circumstance, be a testimony to your goodness and grace, a living example of your miraculous power at work. Use me, Lord, to bring glory to your name and to point others to the source of true healing and hope. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with a humble heart, seeking your comforting presence in the midst of my weariness and the challenges that weigh upon me. You, Lord, are the great healer, the one who mends broken hearts and brings restoration to weary souls. In your loving arms, I find rest and strength. Lord, I lay before you the burdens that have kept me awake at night, robbing me of the restful sleep you intend for your children. I surrender my anxieties, fears, troubles, and anything else, seen or unseen, knowing that your peace surpasses all understanding. As I rest in your promises, I trust you are watching over me and guiding my steps. In the quiet moments before rest, I invite your calming presence to fill my room. May your soothing touch ease any physical or emotional pain, granting me the healing I so desperately need. Your word declares in Psalms, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. I cling to this promise, trusting that your love is a healing cover for my soul. Father, I ask for your divine intervention in my sleep. Help me release the burdens of the day, casting my cares upon you, for you care for me. Grant me the peace that transcends 
all understanding, guarding my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. May your angels watch over me and your presence be with me, bringing comfort and protection as I rest in your unfailing love. I pray for restoration and rejuvenation during the night hours. May your healing power flow through my body, mind, and spirit, renewing me for the challenges of a new day. I surrender my worries and concerns to you, knowing that your plans for me are good, filled with hope and a future. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being my refuge and strength. I trust in your mercy and grace, believing that you are at work in my life, bringing healing and rest according to your perfect will. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Gracious and loving Father, as I approach you in prayer, I lift up my weariness and fatigue, knowing that you are the source of true rest and renewal. Your word assures me in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Lord, I acknowledge this invitation and lay before you the exhaustion that weighs heavy on my soul. I surrender my need for control and cast my cares upon you, for you are the one who sustains me. In the stillness of this night, I seek your comforting presence to envelop me. Let your peace that passes all understanding be with me and guard my heart. I trust in your promise that you never slumber nor sleep, watching over me with unwavering love and care. Father, I ask for your healing touch to soothe any physical or emotional pain that hinders my ability to find peaceful rest. You are the divine physician, and I trust in your ability to bring wholeness to every aspect of my being. Your word declares in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17, but I will restore to you health and heal your wounds. And I hold on to this promise with hope. As I lay down to sleep, I release the tensions and concerns of the day, knowing that your mercies are new every morning. May your spirit minister to me in my dreams, bringing healing and renewal to my body, mind, and spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of rest and the assurance that I can find refuge in your loving arms. Grant me the peaceful sleep that only you can provide, and may I wake up with a heart filled with gratitude for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, in the busyness of life, my thoughts can be burdened and restless. 
I acknowledge that you are the ultimate source of peace and restoration, and I invite your healing power into my mind. As I reflect on your word, I am reminded of Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, I lay before you the anxieties and worries that cloud my mind. I surrender them to you, knowing that you are the one who can replace them with your peace. Grant me the strength to bring every concern to you in prayer, with a heart filled with gratitude for your faithfulness. I pray for your healing power to touch the depths of my mind, bringing clarity, calmness, and a renewed sense of purpose. May your peace stand guard over my thoughts, protecting me from the distractions and pressures that seek to overwhelm me. Thank you for the promise of your peace that surpasses all understanding. I trust that as I focus on you and present my requests with a heart of thanksgiving, your healing power will transform my mind. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Gracious God, in the quiet moments of this night, I come before you with a heart open to your healing presence. As I prepare to rest, I invite your gentle touch to surround me in a blanket of peace. You are the divine comforter, and I trust in your loving care. Heavenly Father, I recognize that my body, mind, and spirit find their true rest in you. Release your healing power upon me as I drift off into sleep, soothing any weariness and tension that may linger. Let your calming presence soothe my soul, bringing tranquility to the depths of my being. Lord, I surrender the events of this day, the concerns of tomorrow, and every burden that weighs on my heart. May your healing touch mend any brokenness, and may your light dispel the shadows of doubt and fear. I place my trust in your unwavering love that knows no bounds. As I enter into the realm of sleep, I pray for dreams infused with your peace and assurance. Guard my mind from any anxious thoughts and grant me a restful sleep that rejuvenates my body and spirit. In the stillness of the night, may your presence be my companion, whispering words of comfort and hope. 
I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of rest and the promise of your healing presence. May I wake up with a renewed sense of your grace, ready to face a new day with faith and strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart burdened by illness and anxiety, seeking your healing touch and the calming assurance that only you can provide. Lord, I trust in your power to bring restoration and peace to every aspect of my being. Lord, I surrender to you the physical ailments that weigh on my body. I ask for your healing hand to touch me, to bring relief and renewal to every part that is affected. I trust in your wisdom to lead and guide the process of my healing, no matter how it unfolds. In the midst of anxiety that clouds my mind and disturbs my soul, I turn to you as my refuge and strength. Cast out the fears that grip my heart, replacing them with the assurance of your presence and love. For you are the Prince of Peace, and I invite your calming spirit to settle over me, dispelling every anxious thought. I choose to trust in you, for you have promised in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I hold on to this promise, believing that your strength will sustain me through the challenges I face. Grant me the grace to surrender my worries and concerns into your hands, knowing that your plans for me are good. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Help me to fix my eyes on you, the author and perfecter of my faith, trusting that your love and mercy will see me through. Thank you, gracious God, for your compassion and faithfulness. I place my health and my anxieties in your hands, confident that you are my healer and my source of peace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you in humility, acknowledging your sovereignty over all things, including my health. Your word in Psalms declares, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases. Tonight, I bring before you my need for healing, both physically and spiritually. Lord, you are the great physician, and I trust in your healing power. 
I lay my burdens at your feet, knowing that your love and mercy are greater than any illness or affliction. May your healing touch be upon every part of my body, mind, and spirit, restoring it to the wholeness that you designed. I declare your promises of healing over my life, for you are the God who hears and answers prayers. Your compassion knows no bounds, and I receive your healing grace with gratitude. Grant me the strength to endure, the faith to believe, and the patience to wait on your perfect timing. As I prepare to sleep, I ask for your peace to envelop me, calm any anxious thoughts, and soothe any physical discomfort. Let your presence be a healing cover to my soul, bringing comfort and assurance in the midst of any trouble. I surrender my worries and concerns to you, trusting that your plans for me are good. May the assurance of your love and care be my secret place, and may your promises be my refuge as I rest in you. Lord, I trust that even in my weakness, you are my strength, and you are my victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I approach your throne of grace with a heart full of gratitude for your unwavering love and boundless mercy. In this moment, I come before you seeking your divine touch of healing in every aspect of my life. Your word in Psalms assures me that he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Tonight, I lay before you any brokenness, physical ailments, and emotional wounds, trusting in your promise of restoration. Lord, I acknowledge your sovereignty over every part of my body and mind. You are the creator, and I believe in your power to bring forth healing. Pour out your healing strength upon me, removing any affliction or illness that hinders the fullness of life you desire for me. I declare your word, for by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Your Son bore my sins and weaknesses on the cross, and I receive the benefits of his sacrifice with faith. I reject any spirit of sickness or disease, and I invite the Holy Spirit to move within me bringing forth divine healing and restoration. As I lay down to rest, I surrender my body, mind, and spirit into your loving hands. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. May your presence be soothing to my spirit, alleviating any pain or discomfort. In the quietness of this night, I trust in your promise to watch over me and keep me. May your presence encamp around me, securing a place of safety for me. I know, Lord, that no matter what happens, your plans for me are good. May your will be done, Lord, that even in my weakness, you, Lord, are my strength and my victory. For you 
have already overcome the world. I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and the assurance that your healing hand is at work in my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I lay down to rest, I come before your presence with gratitude for the day that has passed. Your word in Psalms chapter 4, verse 8, assures me that I can lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. I cling to this promise tonight, trusting in your unfailing love and protection. I surrender all my concerns, worries, and anxieties into your hands. Guard my mind and heart from any fear or doubt. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, envelop me like a comforting blanket. May the assurance of your presence be my peace throughout the night. Mighty God, shield me from any harm or danger, whether seen or unseen. May your divine protection be a fortress that no adversary can breach. I acknowledge that you are the God who neither slumbers nor sleeps, and I find my security in you alone. In moments of uncertainty, I fix my gaze upon your unwavering promises. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, guiding me through the darkness. I commit my loved ones and myself into your care. Cover us with your wings, O Lord, as a hen gathers her chicks. May we rest in the shadow of your wings, knowing that your faithfulness is our shield. Grant me sweet and refreshing sleep, Lord, so that I may wake up refreshed and ready to face the new day with the strength and courage that comes from you. I thank you for your faithfulness, mercy, and grace. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Gracious and loving Father, I acknowledge your sovereignty and might. Your word in Psalms 91 declares he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Tonight I seek refuge in the shelter of your wings, confident in your unfailing protection. Lord, surround me with your heavenly hosts, that I may dwell securely in your presence. As I lay down to rest, I surrender my fears, uncertainties, and vulnerabilities to you. May your peace stand guard over my heart and mind surpassing all comprehension. I declare your promises of protection over my life. Your word is a shield, and I take refuge in your faithfulness. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, for I am covered by the blood of Jesus. Strengthen my faith, O Lord, that I may walk in the assurance of your divine protection. I declare the precious blood of Jesus over my family, my home, and all 
that concerns me. Let your angels stand watch, and may your presence surround me, keeping every evil force at bay. I declare that no harm shall befall me, and no disaster shall come near my dwelling. Grant me discernment, Lord, to recognize and resist the schemes of the enemy, those that I can see and those that are unseen. Lord, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path guiding me away from danger. May your wisdom and discernment be my constant companions as I entrust my safety into your hands. I also lift up those who are in need of your protection around the world. Remind them that you are with them. Be a shield for the oppressed, a refuge for the weary, and a stronghold for those seeking rest. Be with them, Lord, as I know that you are with me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Mighty God, I come before you, the source of all comfort and healing. Your word in Psalms declares, when the righteous cry for help. The Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and he saves the crushed in spirit. In my moment of need, I cry out to you, trusting that you hear and respond with compassion. Lord, I lift up the areas of my life that need healing, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Your promise of healing is my anchor, and I lean on your faithfulness. Pour out your soothing power on every wound, bringing restoration and renewal. Mend the broken pieces, O Lord. And if according to your will, make me whole. I surrender my anxieties and worries into your capable hands. Your peace, which surpasses all understanding, is what I seek. So Lord, guard my heart and my mind against the turmoil of the world and let your tranquility reign in every corner of my being. In the stillness of this moment, I meditate on your word. Your promises are my refuge, and I find peace in your truth. Lord, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Guide me away from the shadows of fear and uncertainty and lead me into the comforting embrace of your presence. As I rest, I ask for your peace to settle over my mind, calm the storms within, and grant me a restful sleep that rejuvenates my body and soul. Heavenly Father, I trust in your timing and your perfect plan for my life. Thank you for being my refuge, my healer, and my constant source of peace. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in this moment of rest, I humbly come before your throne, recognizing your sovereignty and your boundless love for me. Lord, you are the God of restoration, the one who brings beauty from ashes and turns mourning into dancing. I acknowledge that I am in need of your restoration in my life. I surrender every aspect of my being to you, 
knowing that you are the only one who can truly transform and renew. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for any ways I have strayed from your path, for any sins I have committed knowingly or unknowingly. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus and purify me from all unrighteousness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. I pray for restoration in my relationships. Heal any brokenness, mend any wounds, and reconcile any conflicts. Help me to forgive as you have forgiven me, and to love others with the same sacrificial love that you have shown me. I lift up my physical health to you, Lord, for you are the great physician, and I trust in your healing power. Restore my body to full health and vitality, and grant me strength to serve you and others with joy and enthusiasm. Lord, I also pray for restoration in my emotional and mental well-being. You are the God of peace, and your word promises that you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are stayed on you. Bring peace to my troubled heart and mind, and replace my anxiety and fear with your perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. In every area of my life where there is brokenness, pain, or loss, I invite your restoration. You are the God who makes all things new, and I trust in your faithfulness to fulfill your promises. Help me to surrender control to you, to trust in your timing, and to walk by faith and not by sight. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and your endless grace. I place my hope and my trust in you, knowing that you are able to do immeasurably more than I could ask, think, or imagine. May your name be glorified in my life as you bring about your perfect restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a humble heart, recognizing the power of your love and the transformative work of your Spirit. Lord, your word teaches us to renew our minds daily, to be transformed by the renewing of our thoughts. I acknowledge that my mind is in need of your renewal, and it is often clouded by worldly distractions, anxiety, and negative patterns of thinking. I confess, O oh Lord, that I have allowed the cares of this world to infiltrate my mind, causing me to doubt your goodness, to dwell on fear and anxiety, and to entertain thoughts that are contrary to your truth and the amazing plans you have for me. So in this moment, I surrender my mind to you, Lord, asking that you would cleanse it from all unrighteousness and renew it according to your perfect will. Wash away every negative thought, every lie of the enemy, every worry, and every stronghold that hinders me from experiencing the fullness of your love and truth. Fill my mind with your word, O God, that I may meditate on it day and night, allowing it to dwell richly within me and to guide my thoughts and actions. Let your truth be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, illuminating the way forward and dispelling the darkness of doubt and confusion. I pray for your Holy Spirit to dwell within me, empowering me to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Help me to guard my mind diligently, to filter out anything 
that does not align with your word and your promises over my life. Let my thoughts be focused on whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Lord, I ask that you would renew my mind to see myself and others through your eyes of love and grace. Help me to let go of all bitterness, resentment, and unforgiveness, and to cultivate a heart of compassion, kindness, godliness, and forgiveness. In every moment, Lord, may your spirit be at work within me to renew my mind, transforming me from the inside out and making me into the image of your Son, Jesus Christ. May my thoughts be pleasing to you, my God and my Redeemer, as I seek to live a life that honors and glorifies your holy name. So as I drift off to rest in this moment, may my mind be renewed in your presence. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of renewal and transformation. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I lift my heart to you, the God of restoration, the one who makes all things new. Your word tells me in Joel chapter 2, verses 25 through 26, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust have eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. Lord, I cling to this promise with all my heart, knowing that your restoration is not only possible, but it is a promise for those who trust in you. You are the God who brings beauty from ashes, who turns mourning into dancing. In every area of my life where I have experienced loss, brokenness, or devastation, I invite your restoration to flow freely. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for any ways I have strayed from your path. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus and purify me from all unrighteousness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. In every area of my life where there is brokenness, pain, or loss, I invite your restoration, Lord. You are the God who makes all things new, and I trust in your faithfulness to fulfill your promises. Help me to surrender control to you, to trust in your timing, and to walk by faith and not by sight. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and for your endless grace. I place my hope and my trust in you, knowing that you will do immeasurably more than all I could ever ask or imagine. May your name be glorified in my life as you bring about your perfect restoration, healing, and grace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and a soul thirsty for more of your presence. I humbly ask that you increase my faith, Lord, strengthen the foundation of my belief that I may trust you more deeply in every aspect of my life. Your word teaches us in Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word 
of Christ. So open my mind and my heart, Lord, to hear your voice through the scriptures. May your word be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, guiding me with unwavering certainty. Lord, in times of doubt and uncertainty, help me recall Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Grant me the assurance that comes from a steadfast faith rooted in the hope of your promises. Let my conviction be unshakable even in the face of challenges. I pray for a faith like that of Abraham who believed in the Lord and he counted it to him as righteousness. May my faith be a testament to your righteousness. Teach me to trust you even when circumstances seem impossible, knowing that with you all things are possible. As I seek a deeper connection with you, let me draw near with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith. Remove any barriers that hinder my communication with you, Lord. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Lord, I long for your presence in my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may experience the joy and peace that surpasses all understanding. May your presence be a constant companion, guiding me, comforting me, and empowering me to live a life that glorifies you. I surrender my doubts, fears, and uncertainties to you, Lord. Replace them with a steadfast faith. Help me to fix my eyes on Jesus the author and perfecter of my faith. In moments of weakness, let me find strength in you, knowing that you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I offer this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, I come before you in awe of your majesty and in need of a greater measure of faith. Your word teaches us in Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 that even with faith as small as a mustard seed, we can move mountains. Lord, I pray that you would cultivate within me a mustard seed of faith that grows into a mighty tree firmly rooted in your love and grace. Help me to trust in your plan even when I cannot comprehend it. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 6 remind me to trust in you with all my heart and not lean on my own understanding. Lord, grant me the wisdom to surrender my doubts and my fears to you, relying on your infinite wisdom and love. Your word also assures us in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. 
I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, help me to release my fears into your hands, trusting in your unwavering presence and the strength that comes from knowing you are with me. Lord, I trust in your perfect timing and your infinite goodness. I desire a faith that transforms my life and the lives of those around me. May my life be a reflection of your love, grace, and mercy, shining a light that draws others closer to you. I surrender my heart, my dreams, and my fears to you, O Lord. Increase my faith and draw me closer to you each day. In the name of Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of my faith, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart burdened by the challenges and struggles of my mind. You, Lord, are the great physician, the one who heals both body and soul. I humbly seek your healing touch over my mind, knowing that you are the source of all comfort and restoration. In Psalm chapter 34, verse 18, your word reassures us that you are near to the brokenhearted and save the crushed in spirit. Lord, my mind feels burdened, and I ask for your nearness and your saving grace to envelop my thoughts. Heal the brokenness within me and grant me the peace that surpasses all understanding. I surrender my anxieties, my fears, and the heaviness of my mind into your hands, trusting that you will strengthen me and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace and I ask for the peace that only you can provide to guard my mind and calm the storm within me. Lord, dispel the anxious thoughts and replace them with the serenity that comes from resting in your presence. I pray against any stronghold of negativity, doubt, or despair that may have taken root in my mind. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, your word instructs us to take every thought captive to obey Christ. Help me, Lord, to align my thoughts with your truth and to reject any destructive pattern that hinder my well-being. Father, I also lift up any wounds or traumas that may be affecting my mind. You are the God who heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Pour out your healing balm over the scars of my mind bringing restoration and wholeness. I claim the promise of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, which says, You keep them in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because they trust in you. 
May my mind be anchored in you, Lord, trusting in your faithfulness and relying on your peace to guard my thoughts. I pray for wisdom and discernment that I may make choices that align with your will and contribute to the well-being of my mind. Guide me, O Lord, in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. I offer this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, my Savior and Healer. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I prepare to rest, I come before you with a heart full with gratitude for the gift of another day and a spirit that seeks your divine protection. You are my refuge and fortress, the one in whom I find safety and peace. I humbly ask, O Lord, that you surround me with your loving and powerful protection as I lay down to rest. Lord, I choose to dwell in your presence, seeking the shelter and refuge that only you can provide. May your shadow cover me, and may I rest securely under the shadow of your wings. Guard my mind and heart, O Lord, as I sleep. Protect me from anxious thoughts, worries, and fears that may try to disturb my peace. Your word promises in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I receive that peace and entrust my thoughts to your care. I pray the words of Psalm chapter 4, verse 8, over my sleep. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Grant me peaceful and restful sleep, knowing that you are watching over me. Lord, I acknowledge that you neither slumber nor sleep. Thank you for your constant vigilance. I place my trust in you, the one who never fails and is always faithful. Lord, I commit myself into your care, and I declare that my trust is in you alone. Thank you for being my shield, my fortress, and my ever-present help in times of need. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I prepare to rest, I invite the presence of your Holy Spirit to fill the space around me. Your spirit is the comforter, the one who brings peace and assurance. I long for the warmth of your spirit to envelop my surroundings, bringing a sense of your nearness and love. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18, your word instructs us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I open my heart to you, Lord, and I ask that your Spirit would fill every corner of my room. 
may the atmosphere be saturated with your divine presence, dispelling any darkness and ushering in the light of your love. As I lay down to rest, I surrender any anxieties and concerns into your hands. I pray for the fruits of the Spirit, as mentioned in Galatians, to manifest in my life. May love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control be evident in my life. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the precious gift of your Holy Spirit. May my resting place be a sanctuary filled with the presence of your Holy Spirit. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I lay down to rest tonight, I come before your throne with a humble heart, seeking your divine touch for healing. You are the one who can mend broken bodies, soothe troubled minds, and restore tired souls. I surrender myself entirely into your care, knowing that your love surpasses all understanding and your power knows no bounds. In the stillness of this night, I ask for your healing presence to surround me. Pour out your mercy upon me, O Lord, and grant me the strength to endure whatever afflictions I may face. I trust in your promise, for you have declared in your word in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Lord, I approach your throne with confidence, knowing that you are eager to bestow your mercy and grace upon your children. May your healing hands touch every part of my being, bringing restoration and wholeness where there is brokenness and pain. May your comforting spirit fill my heart with peace, casting out all fear and anxiety. As I drift off to sleep, I place my trust in you, knowing that you never slumber nor sleep. Watch over me, O Lord, and grant me restful sleep that I may awaken refreshed and renewed, ready to serve you with all my heart, mind, and strength. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the quiet moments of this night, I acknowledge your sovereignty and majesty. You are the God of restoration, the one who brings beauty from ashes and turns mourning into dancing. I lift up my heart to you, Lord, and I ask for your divine restoration to flow through every aspect of my life as I sleep tonight. Your word declares in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, After you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Father, I cling to this promise with unwavering faith, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill your word. I surrender to your will and your perfect timing trusting that you will bring about restoration in your perfect way and in your perfect time. 
Lord, I pray for restoration in my relationships. Heal any brokenness, mend any rifts, and bring reconciliation where there is strife. Help me to forgive as you have forgiven me and to extend grace and love to those around me. I also pray for restoration in my mind and spirit. Replace any anxiety, fear, or doubt with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Renew my strength and fill me with hope and joy as I rest in your presence. Father, I lift up to you any areas of my life that need your touch of restoration, whether it be my health, my finances, my dreams, or my spiritual walk. You are the God who makes all things new, and I trust that you will breathe new life into every broken or dormant area of my life. As I lay down to sleep, I surrender all my cares and burdens into your loving hands. Guard my heart and mind throughout the night, and may your peace surround me like a fortress. Grant me sweet dreams and restful sleep, knowing that you are with me always, guiding me and leading me into your perfect will. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your unfailing love. May your restoration flow abundantly in my life, bringing glory and honor to your name. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the shelter of your wings, I find refuge and strength. As I come before you in prayer, I am reminded of your unwavering love and boundless grace. You are my fortress, my stronghold, and my healer. I lift my voice to you, O Lord, seeking your divine protection and healing over every aspect of my life. Your word declares in Psalm chapter 23, verses 1 through 4, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Lord, I cling to the truth of your word, knowing that you are my shepherd who watches over me with tender care. Lead me beside still waters, O Lord, and restore my soul. Heal any wounds, both seen and unseen, that afflict my body, my mind, or spirit. Guard me against the schemes of the enemy and shield me from harm and danger. I pray for your protection over my physical health. Guard me against any illness and disease and strengthen my body to withstand any trials or challenges that may come my way. Remind me, O Lord, that even if the weapon is formed, it shall not prosper. Father, I also lift up to you my emotional and mental well-being. Heal any wounds or traumas that have left scars on my heart and mind. Bring peace to any areas of anxiety, fear, or doubt, and replace them with your perfect love that casts out all fear. 
As I rest tonight, I pray for your peace to envelop me like a warm blanket, calming every fear and soothing every worry. May your presence be a shield around me, protecting me from the attacks of the enemy. Grant me restful sleep, knowing that you are watching over me and keeping me safe in your arms. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and your constant protection. May your healing power flow abundantly in my life, bringing glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Almighty God, as I come before your throne of grace, I am overwhelmed by your faithfulness. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and your promises endure forever. In times of uncertainty and doubt, I find peace in your unchanging character and steadfast love. I lift my voice to you, O Lord, praising you for your faithfulness that sustains me through every trial and triumph. Your word declares in Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 through 23, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Lord, I cling to the truth of your word, knowing that your love never fails and your mercies are endless. Your faithfulness is my anchor in the storms of life, and your grace is my strength in times of weakness. I am grateful for your faithfulness that has carried me through every season of life, never leaving me nor forsaking me. Father, I thank you for your faithfulness in the past, as you have proven yourself faithful time and time again. You have provided for my needs, protected me from harm, and guided me through the darkest valleys. You have turned my mourning into dancing, my sorrow into joy, and ashes into beauty. Your faithfulness has been my rock and my fortress, my refuge and strength. Lord, I surrender my present circumstances into your faithful hands, trusting that you are working all things together for my good. Help me to walk by faith and not by sight, knowing that your plans for me are good, pleasing, and perfect. Give me the courage to step out in faith, knowing that you are always by my side, leading and guiding me. Father, I also pray for your faithfulness in the future, knowing that your promises are sure and your word never returns void. Help me to trust in your unfailing love, even when I cannot see the way forward. Give me the patience to wait upon you, knowing that your timing is perfect and your purposes will prevail. As I rest tonight, I pray for your faithfulness to overshadow me like a canopy of love covering me with your peace and assurance. May your presence be my constant companion, reminding me of your faithfulness that endures forever. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness that never wavers. May your name be glorified now and forever. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Mighty God, I lay before you my heart and soul, seeking your divine healing over my mind. 
You are the God who knows every thought, every worry, and every struggle that weighs heavy on my spirit. I surrender them all to you, trusting in your promise to bring healing and wholeness. Your word declares in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Lord, I long to experience the transformative power of your spirit as you renew my mind. Help me to break free from the patterns of this world that ensnare me and to embrace your truth and wisdom. Heal any wounds or traumas that have left scars on my mind and spirit and replace them with your peace and restoration. Father, I pray that you would remove any anxious thoughts, doubts, or fears that plague my mind. Replace them with your perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen me to stand firm on your promises, knowing that you are with me always, guiding me through every trial and tribulation. I also lift up to you any mental illnesses or disorders that I may be struggling with. You are the God who can heal all things, and I trust in your power to bring healing and relief. Surround me with your love and comfort, and grant me the courage to seek help and support from resources and others that you have placed in my life. Lord, I surrender my mind to you completely, asking that you would align my thoughts with your will and purpose for my life. Help me to fix my eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of my faith, and to trust in your sovereign plan for me, even when I cannot see the way forward. As I rest tonight, I pray for your peace to guard my heart and mind. May your presence be like a soothing remedy, calming every anxious thought and filling me with your joy and hope. Grant me restful sleep, knowing that you are watching over me and keeping me safe in your arms. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your steadfast love. May your healing power flow abundantly over my mind. May I wake up refreshed and renewed and ready to reflect who you are in all of my actions, my ways, and all of my thoughts. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen.
Matthew chapter 8 verses 5 through 15 When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home, paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, Shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that very moment. John chapter 8 verses 1 through 20 Jesus returned to the Mount of Olives but early the next morning he was back again at the temple a crowd soon gathered and he sat down and taught them as he was speaking the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They put her in front of the crowd. Teacher, they said to Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses says to stone her. What do you say? They were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. They kept demanding an answer. So he stood up again and said, all right, but let one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Then he stooped down again and wrote in the dust. When the accusers heard this, they slipped away, one by one, beginning with the oldest, until only Jesus was left in the middle of the crowd with the woman. Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, Where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? No, Lord she said. And Jesus said, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. The Pharisees replied, You are making those claims about yourself. Such testimony is not valid. Jesus told them, These claims are valid, even though I make them about myself. For I know where I came from and where I am going. But you don't know this about me. You judge me by human standards. But I do not 
judge anyone, and if I did, my judgment would be correct in every respect, because I am not alone. The Father who sent me is with me. Your own law says that if two people agree about something, their witness is accepted as fact. I am one witness, and my Father who sent me is the other. Where is your Father? they asked. Jesus answered, Since you don't know who I am, you don't know who my Father is. If you knew me, you would also know my Father. Jesus made these statements while he was teaching in the section of the temple known as the treasury, but he was not arrested because his time had not yet come. John chapter 6, verse 1 through 21. After this, Jesus crossed over to the far side of the Sea of Galilee, also known as the Sea of Tiberias. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went, because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. Then Jesus climbed a hill and sat down with his disciples around him. Jesus soon saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for him. Turning to Philip, he asked, Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? He was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Tell everyone to sit down, Jesus said. So they all sat down on the grassy slopes. The men alone numbered about 5,000. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and distributed them to the people. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers, so that nothing is wasted. So they picked up the pieces and filled twelve baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves. When the people saw him do this miraculous sign, they exclaimed, Surely he is the prophet we have been expecting. When Jesus saw that they were ready to force him to be their king, he slipped away into the hills by himself. That evening, Jesus' disciples went down to the shore to wait for him. But as darkness fell and Jesus hadn't come back, they got into the boat and headed across the lake toward Capernaum. Soon a gale swept down upon them, and the sea grew very rough. They had rowed three or four miles, when suddenly they saw Jesus walking on the water toward the boat. They were terrified, but he called out to them, do not be afraid. I am here. Then they were eager to let him in the boat 
and immediately they arrived at their destination. Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 through 16 One day as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up on the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. You are the salt of the earth. But what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. John chapter 3 verses 16 through 21 For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world not to judge the world but to save the world through him. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him but anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only Son. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. John chapter 5 
verses 1 through 18. Some time later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now there is in Jerusalem, near the Sheep Gate, a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethesda, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Sir, he replied, I have no one to help me get into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat, and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. The day on which this took place was a Sabbath, and so the Jewish leaders said to the man who had been healed, It is the Sabbath. The law forbids you to carry your mat. But he replied, The man who made me well said to me, Pick up your mat and walk. So they asked him, Who is this fellow who told you to pick it up and walk? The man who was healed had no idea who it was, for Jesus had slipped away into the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him at the temple and said to him, See, you are well again. Stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who had made him well. So, because Jesus was doing these things on the Sabbath, the Jewish leaders began to persecute him. In his defense, Jesus said to them, My father is always at his work to this very day, and I too am working. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him. Not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father making himself equal with God. Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 through 34 Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body. What you will wear is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and thrown into the fire, tomorrow, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, 
What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 21. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. And then he put his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, the synagogue leader said to the people, There are six days to work, so come and be healed on those days, not on the Sabbath. The Lord answered him, You hypocrites! Doesn't each of you on the Sabbath untie your ox or donkey from the stall and lead it out to give it water? Then should not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has kept bound for eighteen long years, be set free on the Sabbath day from what bound her? When he said this, all his opponents were humiliated, but the people were delighted with all the wonderful things he was doing. Then Jesus asked, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? It is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds perched in its branches. Again he said, What shall I compare the kingdom of God to? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about sixty pounds of flour until it had worked all through the dough. Luke chapter 15 Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who do not need to repent. Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way, I tell you, There is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed 
to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am, starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. The older brother became angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes comes home, you kill the fattened calf for him. My son, the father said, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Luke chapter 17 verses 11 through 20. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Once, on being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, The coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, nor will people say, Here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst. Luke chapter 18, verses 35 through 43. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, 
I want to see, he replied. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. When all the people saw it, they also praised God. Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. John chapter 3, verses 1 through 19. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, Very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Nicodemus asked, How can someone be born when they are old? Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, You must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. How can this be? Nicodemus asked. You are Israel's teacher, said Jesus, and you do not understand these things? Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But still, you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people loved darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. John chapter 6 verses 1 through 59 Some time after this, 
Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, that is, the Sea of Tiberias. And a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the signs he had performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming towards him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this question only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, It would take more than half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Then another one of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up, Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place, and they sat down. About five thousand were there. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled twelve baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, where they got into a boat and set off across the lake for Capernaum. By now it was dark, and Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters grew rough. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were frightened. But he said to them, It is I, don't be afraid. Then they were willing to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were headed. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake realized that only one boat had been there, and that Jesus had not entered it with his disciples, but that they had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. Once the crowd realized that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum in search of Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, What must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, What sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the wilderness, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven 
and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. At this the Jews there began to grumble about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died, but whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. He said this while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Psalm chapter 147, verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 3 John chapter 1, verse 2 Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. 
Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus Revelations chapter 21 verse 4 he will wipe every tear from their eyes there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away John chapter 14 verse 27 peace I leave with you my peace I give you I do not give to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak Psalm chapter 30 verse 2 Lord my God I called to you for help and you healed me Psalm chapter 103 verses 2 through 4 praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion Psalm chapter 23 verse 4 even though I walk through the darkest valley I will not be afraid for you are close beside me your rod and your staff protect and comfort me psalm chapter 16 verse 8 i have set the lord always before me because he is at my right hand i will not be shaken psalm chapter 27 verse 1 the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life whom shall I dread Psalm chapter 46 verse 11 the Lord of hosts is with us the God of Jacob is our refuge Nahum chapter 1 verse 7 the Lord is good a refuge in times of trouble he cares for those who trust in him proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 a joyful heart is good medicine but a broken spirit dries up the bones psalm chapter 30 verses 10 through 11 hear lord and be merciful to me lord be my help you turned my wailing into dancing you removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy Psalm chapter 46 verse 1 God is our refuge and strength always ready to help in times of trouble Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time he has planted eternity in the human heart but even so people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end Psalm chapter 73 verse 26 my health may fail and my spirit may grow weak but God remains the strength of my heart. He is mine forever. Romans chapter 18, verse 13. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit Psalms chapter 95 
verse 6. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. 1 John chapter 4, verse 15. All who declare that Jesus is the Son of God have God living in them, and they live in God. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food or drink, or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food, and your body more than clothing? 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. Three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm. For God can be trusted to keep his promise. James chapter 1 verse 17. Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 through 18. Always be thankful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Titus chapter 3 verse 4 When God our Savior reveals his kindness and love, he saved us, not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy, and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. John chapter 16 verse 33 I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 You are the light of the world. 
like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Job chapter 19 verse 25 But as for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and he will stand upon the earth at last. Psalm chapter 55 verse 22 Give your burdens to the Lord, and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Galatians chapter 5 verse 25 Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 And we know in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 25 As your days are, so shall your strength be. Psalm chapter 55 verse 22 Give your burdens to the Lord, and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Psalm chapter 39, verse 7. And so, Lord, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 10. For the mountains may move, and the hills may disappear, but even then, my faithful love for you will never be broken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Psalm chapter 19, verse 1. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 3. All nations will come to your light. Mighty kings will come to see your radiance. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by this same Spirit living within you. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 Guard your heart above all else, for it is the wellspring of life. Psalm chapter 139, verse 10. Even there your hand will guide me, and your strength will support me. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13. For I hold you by your right hand, I, the Lord your God. And I say to you, don't be afraid, I am here to help you. First 
Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11 So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. Psalm chapter 51 verse 10 Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 Don't you realize that all of you together are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God lives in you? Matthew chapter 5 verse 4 God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Psalm chapter 27 verse 14 Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Psalms chapter 94, verse 19. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For the word of God will never fail. Psalm chapter 113, verse 3. Everywhere, from east to west, praise the name of the Lord. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 Imitate God therefore in everything you do because you are his dear children. Joel chapter 2 verse 13 Return to the Lord your God for he is merciful and compassionate slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He is eager to relent and not punish. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience, and God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than what you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so you can endure. John chapter 20, verse 29. Then Jesus told him, You believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God and at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. Matthew chapter 19 verse 26 Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with God, everything is possible. James chapter 1, verse 12. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Psalm chapter 20 verse 7 Some nations boast of their chariots and horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord our God.
Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his stripes we are healed. Psalm chapter 41 verse 3 The Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illnesses you restore him to full health. Psalm chapter 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm chapter 103 verses 2 through 4 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. James chapter 5 verse 15 And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. 3 John chapter 1 Verse 2 Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you, and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. James chapter 5, verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 For I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord because they have called you an outcast. It is Zion, for whom no one cares. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. And he called to him his twelve disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal every disease and every affliction. James chapter 5, verse 14. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through 22. Be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and healing 
to all their flesh. Psalm chapter 6, verse 2. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. Psalm chapter 103, verses 2 through 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness and none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you knew will he inflict on you, but he will lay them on all those who despise you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalm chapter 107, verse 20. He sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Acts chapter 4 verse 30 While you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. Luke chapter 4 verse 18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and without faith it is impossible to please him for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him Proverbs chapter 16 verse 24 gracious words are like a honeycomb sweetness to the soul and health to the body Luke chapter 10 verse 9 Heal the sick in it and say to them The kingdom of God has come near to you Psalm chapter 30 verse 2 O Lord my God I cry to you for help And you have healed me Matthew chapter 9 verse 35 and Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom 
and healing every disease and every affliction. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 No weapon that is formed against you shall succeed, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Psalm chapter 41 verse 4 As for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me, heal me, for I have sinned against you. Isaiah chapter 57 verses 18 through 19 I have seen his ways, but I will heal him. I will lead him and restore comfort to him and his mourners, creating the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace, to the far and to the near, says the Lord, and I will hear him. Romans chapter 5, verses 3 through 4. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that our suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy, but I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. You shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from among you. James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Mark chapter 5, verse 34. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace, and be healed of your disease. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 But he said to me My grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me John chapter 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out, leaping like calves from the stall. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 For we walk by faith, not by sight. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Luke chapter 5 
verse 17. On one of those days, as he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him to heal. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 through 5 Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Psalm chapter 119, verse 50. This is my comfort in my affliction, that your promise gives me life. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8. Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 16. Now therefore, stand still and see this great thing that the Lord will do before your eyes. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. He said to them, Because of your little faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 1 through 12 Who has believed what he has heard from us? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his stripes we are healed. Matthew chapter 12, verse 13. Then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And the man stretched it out, and it was restored, healthy like the other. Hosea chapter 14 verse 4 I will heal their apostasy I will love them freely for my anger has turned from them 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 to another faith by the same spirit to another gifts of healing by the one spirit Proverbs chapter 3 verse 7 through 8. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Psalm chapter 107 verses 19 through 20. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. 
he sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 16 through 18. So we do not lose heart, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light, momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort. Job chapter 5, verses 17 through 18 Behold, blessed is the one whom God reproves. Therefore, despise not the discipline of the Almighty. For he wounds, but he binds up. He shatters, but his hands heal. Psalm chapter 34, verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what has been planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. Isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 through 11. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Psalm chapter 31 verse 9. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye is wasted from grief, my soul and my body also. James chapter 5 verse 11 Behold, we consider those blessed who remained steadfast. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Acts chapter 28 verse 27 For this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. Psalm chapter 30 Verse 2, O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. Psalm chapter 42, verse 11, Why are you so cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Put your hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Romans chapter 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 
chapter 3, verse 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask, think, or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 through 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 through 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Romans chapter 8 verse 31. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Psalm chapter 27 verse 1. The Lord is the light of my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 1 John chapter 4 verse 18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out all fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Psalm chapter 31 Verse 24, be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait on the Lord. Mark chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus looked at them and said, with man it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 Our faith can move mountains. Psalm chapter 107 verse 1 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Psalm chapter 34, verse 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Psalm chapter 3. Verse 3, But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. Psalm chapter 96, verses 1 through 3. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day declare his glory among the nations and his marvelous deeds among all peoples. First Peter 
chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 13. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. John chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Colossians chapter 1 verse 11 May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 I am the Lord who heals you. Third John chapter 1 verse 2 Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Matthew chapter 4 verse 23 And he went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. Isaiah chapter 38 verse 16 O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these is the life of my spirit. O restore me to health and make me live. Psalm chapter 30 verse 5 For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. Psalm chapter 119 verse 50 This is my comfort in my affliction, that your promise gives me life. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and opening the prison to those who are bound. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 14 You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. Your bones shall flourish like the grass and the hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants and he shall show his indignation against his enemies. Psalm chapter 147 verses 2 through 5 The Lord built up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. Psalm chapter 30 verses 10 through 11. Hear, O Lord, 
and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. Psalm chapter 34, verses 17 through 18. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 18. Surely there is a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 24. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 12. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore to you double. Psalm chapter 71, verse 14. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. Psalm chapter 33, verse 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 22. Do not say, I will repay evil. Instead, wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 18. Therefore, the Lord wants to be gracious to you, and therefore he exalts himself to show mercy to you. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for him. Psalm chapter 25, verse 5. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 11. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Psalm chapter 38, verse 15. But for you, O Lord, do I wait. It is you, O Lord my God, who will answer. Psalm chapter 71, verse 5. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Psalm chapter 147, verse 11. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. Psalm chapter 119, verse 114. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Heal me, O Lord and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Jeremiah chapter 33, 
verse 6. Behold, I will bring it to health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. First Peter chapter 2 verse 24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Psalm chapter 41, verse 3. The Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. Psalm chapter 147, verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. James chapter 5, verse 15. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. 3 John chapter 1, verse 2 Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you, and that you may be in good health, as it goes well with your soul. Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 through 5 Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Revelations chapter 21 verse 4 He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Isaiah Chapter 57, verses 18 through 19. I have seen their ways, and I will heal them. I will lead them and give comfort to them and to those who mourn for them. I will create the right words, shalom, shalom, to those far off and to those nearby, says the Lord. I will heal them. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 He bore our sins in his own body on the cross that we having died to sins might live for righteousness by his stripes you are healed Psalm chapter 20 verse 7 Some nations boast of their chariots and horses but we boast in the name of the Lord our God. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope 
and confidence. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25 All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 Now all glory to God, who is able, through his mighty power, at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 33 Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Psalm chapter 42, verse 1 As a deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 Verse 18 So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. Psalm chapter 30, verse 2 Lord my God, I call to you, for help, and you healed me. Psalm chapter 42, verse 11. Why are you so cast down, O my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? Put your hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, my salvation and my God. Psalm chapter 91. Verses 10 through 11. No evil shall befall you. No plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Psalm chapter 107. Verse 20. He sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 He gives power to the faint and to him who has no might he increases strength Isaiah chapter 58 verse 8 Then shall your light break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up fast your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. Colossians Chapter 1, verse 11. May you be strengthened with all power, according to his glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy. James, chapter 4, verses 7 through 8. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Matthew chapter 5 through 7 One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up on the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. 
God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for Him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad, for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. You are the salt of the earth, but what good is it if salt has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a blanket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. Do not misunderstand why I have come. I did not come to abolish the law of Moses or the writings of the prophets. No, I came to accomplish their purpose. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear until its purpose is achieved. So if you ignore the least commandment and teach others to do the same, you will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who obeys God's laws and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. But I warn you, unless your righteousness is better than the righteousness of the teachers of the religious law and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that our ancestors were told, you must not murder. If you commit murder, you are subject to judgment. But I say, if you are even angry with someone, you are subject to judgment. If you call someone an idiot or a fool, you are in danger of being brought before the court. And if you curse someone, you are in danger of the fires of hell. So, if you are presenting a sacrifice at the altar in the temple, and you suddenly remember that someone has something against you, leave your sacrifice there at the altar. Go and be reconciled to that person. Then, come and offer your sacrifice to God. When you are on your way to court with your adversary, settle your differences quickly. Otherwise, your accuser may hand you over to the judge who will hand you over to an officer and you will be thrown into prison. And if that happens, you surely won't be free again until you have paid the last penny. You have heard the commandment that says you must not commit adultery. But I say, anyone who even looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So if your eye, even your good eye, causes you to lust, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your hand 
even your stronger hand, causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. You have heard the law that says a man can divorce his wife by merely giving her a written notice of divorce. But I say that a man who divorces his wife, unless she has been unfaithful, he causes her to commit adultery. And anyone who marries a divorced woman also commits adultery. You have heard that our ancestors were told, you must not break your vows, you must carry out the vows you make to the Lord. But I say, do not make any vows. Do not say, by heaven, because heaven is God's throne. And do not say, by the earth, because the earth is his footstool. And do not say, by Jerusalem, for Jerusalem is the city of the great king. Do not even say, by my head, for you can't turn one hair white or black. Just say a simple, yes, I will, or no, I won't. Anything beyond this is from the evil one. You have heard the law that says the punishment must match the injury. An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say, do not resist an evil person. If someone slaps you on the right cheek, offer the other cheek also. If you are sued in court and your shirt is taken from you, give your coat too. If a soldier demands that you carry his gear for a mile, carry it two miles. Give to those who ask and don't turn away from those who want to borrow. You have heard the law that says, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. And he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. If you love only those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you are kind only to your friends, how are you different from anyone else? Even pagans do that. But you are to be perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. Watch out. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. When you give to someone in need, don't do as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and streets to call attention to their acts of charity. I tell you the truth, they have received all the reward they will ever get, but when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in private, and your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on and on, as the Gentiles do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your Father knows exactly what you need, even before you ask Him. Pray like this, Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need, 
and forgive us of our sins, as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. If you forgive those who sin against you, your Heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. And when you fast, don't make it obvious, as the hypocrites do, for they try to look miserable and disheveled, so people will admire them for their fasting. I tell you the truth, that is the only reward they will ever get. But when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face, then no one will notice that you are fasting except your father who knows what you do in private and your father who sees everything will reward you don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them where thieves break in and steal store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. Your eye is like a lamp that provides light for your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is filled with light. But when your eye is unhealthy, your whole body is filled with darkness. And if the light you think you have is actually darkness. How deep that darkness is. No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. That is why I tell you to not worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food, and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them, and aren't you far more valuable to Him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon, in all his glory, was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Do not judge others, and you will not be judged, for you will be treated as you treat others. The standard you use in judging is the standard by which you will be judged. And why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? How can you think of saying to your friend, let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first get rid of the log in your own eye, then you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. Don't waste what is holy on people who are unholy. Don't throw your pearls to pigs, they will trample the pearls then turn and attack you. Keep on asking, and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find. 
keep on knocking, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you, sinful people, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask Him? Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the Law and the Prophets. You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and its gate is wide for the many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow and is difficult, and only a few ever find it. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really ravenous wolves. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? A good tree produces good fruit, and a bad tree produces bad fruit. So a good tree can't produce bad fruit, and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and performed many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the flood waters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority, quite unlike their teachers of religious law. Luke chapter 12, verses 35 through 48. Be dressed and ready for service, and keep your lamps burning like servants waiting for their master to return from a wedding banquet, so that when he comes and knocks, they can immediately open the door for him. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them watching when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will dress himself to serve, will have them recline at the table, and will come and wait on them. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them ready, even if he comes in the middle of the night or toward daybreak. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You must also be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Peter asked, Lord, are you telling this parable to us or to everyone? The Lord answered, Who then is the faithful and wise manager, whom the master 
puts in charge of his servants to give them their food allowance at the proper time. It will be good for that servant whom the master finds doing so when he returns. Truly I tell you, he will put him in charge of all his possessions. But suppose the servant says to himself, My master is taking a long time in coming, and he then begins to beat the other servants, both men and women, and to eat and drink and get drunk. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he is not aware of. He will cut him to pieces and assign him a place with the unbelievers. The servant who knows the master's will and does not get ready or does not do what the master wants will be beaten with many blows. But the one who does not know and does things deserving punishment will be beaten with few blows. From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. Psalm 91 Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust in Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with His feathers. He will shelter you with His wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home. For He will order His angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Numbers chapter 6 verses 24 through 26. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Psalm chapter 62. I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. So many enemies against one man, all of them trying to end me. To them I'm just a broken down wall or a tottering fence. They plan to topple me from my high position. They delight in telling lies about me. They praise me to my face, but curse me in their hearts. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honor come from God alone. He is my refuge 
a rock where no enemy can reach me. O oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Surely the lowborn are but a breath, the highborn are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Together they are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Power belongs to you, God, and with you, Lord, is unfailing love, and you reward everyone according to what they have done. Psalm chapter 40 I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud, or in those who worship idols. O Lord my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offerings or sin offerings. Then I said, look, I have come, as it is written about me in the scriptures. I take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. I have told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out as you, O Lord, well know. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me, for troubles surround me, too many to count. My sins pile up so high, I can't see my way out. They outnumber the hairs on my head. I have lost all courage. Please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame, for they said, We got him now. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, The Lord is great. As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my savior, my God who does not delay. Psalm chapter 117 Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise Him, all you people of the earth, for His unfailing love for us is powerful. The Lord's faithfulness endures forever.
On this channel, our number one focus is helping believers deepen their time with God. From prayers and affirmations to help clear anxiety for a deep sleep, or short daily prayers to encourage you. If you want to grow closer to God, subscribe to tap into these resources every day. Peace and blessings, and thank you for being here.